Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Ah. We're ah. about to start up some Zelda. Perhaps you may have heard of it. Hey, a new guy. Thou. Probably not though. Hast thou heard thou of thou it thou? This that's tomorrow. What are you doing? That's tomorrow. Day that's, early. True. that's true. <laughs> Remind me to think of a funny thou thing to say uh, before I tomorrow. Won't. I know. <laughs> With all that being said, uh, hello everybody. Nice to see you. Honestly, you thanks. Thank you guys for all of the subs and thank you for the raid earlier as well. Loading crew, much appreciated. Um, we are coming off of a a very uh, a very big arc uh, in this game. We're coming off of a very big thing that happened uh, <laughs> that has touched the lives of each and every one of our protagonists. We will see just how much whenever they give the recap in just a minute because i think i'm gonna ask each of them questions about the recap we'll talk about that in a minute though oh fuck let's go ahead and switch over recap. let's go ahead and switch over to the next there we go we're in hello we're in we have gotten rid of a couple things we we've cleaned up the room a, a little bit um i think that oh, so why are we still red Oh yeah, I guess I guess the I guess the the room is a little red. Hold on, did I not change? Or did the... you? Or did, oh no, yeah, I think you did. It's just that the, a lot of the maps on screen right now are still that color. <laughs> so that it, I just saw no, no, that. I fixed was like, the lighting. The lighting's fixed. So <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Um, I think I'll give the recap today. Oh, and okay. uh, during the recap, I will ask uh, you guys for for some for some things. Uh, but last time, all of you guys had prepared your uh big your uh your big fight i guess the last time before last time your big fight with um, uh with who you all believe to be ganon going by gorthos big moblin man uh with very scary sword uh you guys got yeah. through that lightning struck a tree and then when you thought things were over a large massive roar made its way through the lost woods all the way over to each of you as you knew that as the roaring and laughter was making its way towards you, you had not completed what you had needed to do. You would each run off toward the uh, forest temple. Upon getting into the forest temple, you were able to seek some kind of shelter for a little while. Using the twisted song of time, you were able to not only find your way inside, but also uh, get a little bit of a understanding of uh, what you should do due to some context clues around the area. Uh, because of the use of the Twisted Song of Time, you were able to send yourselves at least a little bit back from where you were, as much as you could. Um, and through thinking of different things you can do, you guys made your way uh, out, into, uh, out into the woods, going over toward what you believed to be was the only thing that could save you from this, which was the Sword of Evil's Bane. Going out to the pedestal of the sword, you guys saw that it was very much uh, still in there in this time. Uh, and as far as someone to pull it out, you guys had decided Marco might be a good case, but you hadn't finished everything in the forest. You could have tried to do it and leave right then, but there were still many things to be done, including uh, deciding whether or not some people needed to stay behind or not, or some people needed to stay behind and do a thing. Turns out that having Atalanta, the uh, the actual flesh and blood version of uh, uh, the hero that Gorthos's body was um, uh, was uh, belonged to, you guys had to figure out who was going to actually save the Gorthos head, because you're not sure if the past has any relevance on things. You ended up thinking that you could use the skeleton to send Gorthos's head into the area, and in doing so, you had to go out, find it, defeat several. Uh, Sheikah members, which was pretty insane for the group that did it because they were not player characters that did yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> only NPCs had anything to do with that fight. That, you guys controlled Honestly, them and you guys rolled real good. Well, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they're sunglasses like the rest of us in our thumbnail. <laughs> uh, as uh, that had gone down, you guys had uh, defeated those Sheikah with, them, uh, with the, the newer heroes inside your party. And in doing so, you grabbed the skull brought it back the others had gone off to get uh ganon from what you guys believe to be 
and maneuver him throughout the uh, the area, trying to get as much time as possible. Upon talking with Ganon, you realize not only was uh, Ganon uh, waiting until a certain demon had fallen to come into power, he may have had something to do with sending someone to get rid of them. Uh, in saying all of this, uh, he also had uh, mentioned that he still thought Marco was the hero, which is pretty funny. Um, <laughs> hey, he now has even more reason to, to believe it. <laughs> you look nothing like the last one I saw, but you know what? I'll buy it. <laughs> as you guys had um, uh, gone through and bought as much time as you could using several different methods, including a rejuvenated younger magic frog. <laughs> <laughs> to go through your go through um, uh, different things you were able to finally all get together make your way back into the center of where you were at have marco draw the blade and upon drawing the blade it sent you guys at least you hope all back to your time you did know however that the creature the large moblin had mentioned he was ready to quench the blade for a thousand more years his plan was to stay back here to begin with he just thought that he could take you guys out before that was um, uh, that was being done you didn't stop him but you did save yourselves and give yourselves a lot more of a chance of fighting them and a lot more information as well it seemed as if princess matilda's eyes seem to open and gain a little bit more understanding of themselves as they came out this arc has been interesting and i would like to come to each of you and i would like to uh, ask if there was anything uh personal about your stories that happened this arc that i might have forgot to mention just in case you want to bring up anything uh that uh you felt was particularly um interesting about what happened with you so first we're gonna start off with ronin Burr. ronin upon coming into the Burr. forest and upon settling things before even coming to the forest we had learned a little bit more about z's under uh beginnings coming into the forest you were the one that was the biggest advocate for uh for figuring out something to do with atalanta and speaking with them uh, a lot more you were able to get the silver gauntlets from them uh and use them uh to at this point give you back at least some semblance of strength you thought you had before mm -hmm. whenever you had started playing the songs you felt that because of the strange a disconnection with the goddesses your your strength seemed to wane slightly has anything that happened this arc opened any kind of thoughts for you or any kind of goals going forward or did i forget to mention anything you felt was important uh i mean you mentioned uh muscle magic frog so that's you know we need to just replace him with a battle toad <laughs> <laughs> just literally put zits in here <laughs> uh fucking i mean it, it definitely wanna uh, nothing specific to ronin i guess mm -hmm. that, that sticks out in my brain okay um more just like thoughts of like what the party can do in general mm. like how the fuck do we get that magic like how, how do we make it so we we can say no to his no you yeah, know he did stop all of you from using magic at one point as well as stop he, you guys he said no it. to magic that was crazy what about marco is there anything in particular that uh you feel was something that affected you personally in this uh that i didn't mention i also uh brought up when uh when it came to the thing you were the one that drew the master sword now having two of them uh you have also say, figured out a lot terrific. more <laughs> gotta say this is pretty terrific <laughs> <laughs> You have also uh, learned a lot about, uh, just before coming into the woods, uh, different things going on with the graveyard, and uh, now seeing your father and his horse, Phil. Uh, is there anything in particular that comes to your mind that I haven't mentioned, or that was personally influential to you in some way? Marco realized that his father had come back here to uh, do what his, what his father couldn't do, and at the same time, sees so much of himself in his father due to these reckless, self-endangering actions that he's 
very much like, damn it, I do that all the time, though. I've tried to make him as much like you as I could, but older and grizzled. <laughs> and I love that so much. And, and Marco's... less skilled, because you are you are the more skilled fighter of the two. I have so much <laughs> fucking skills that he's going to be surprised. <laughs> what do you mean you got trained by Shika? What do you mean you have curse sorcery? <laughs> You're a thief? <laughs> I never raised you to be a thief. You didn't raise me. <laughs> My sisters raised me because you My, left. Which is a thing. <laughs> My sisters <laughs> raised me to be a thief. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I would love to see that none of them have a thief class of any kind. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the, the, I, think I, made all three, I think I made all three of them thieves. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Because nice. like, I think, I th no, like, um, no, one is a spelunker. One is a craftsman and one's a thief. Uh, okay. You do not, you would never guess in a billion years which one's which. Anyway, keep going. <laughs> and now that he has his father back, uh, despite everyone being grown, it's like, well, now you can answer to me and my sisters for your abandonment of us <laughs> and why you did what you did. Which I think will be fun. I think it'll but be other great. than that, uh, specifically drawing the master sword was not something that. Marco had actually. I it guess, took you. It to took a it. lot out of you to do it. It took a lot. Those, out those of were some crazy roles. Uh, I, I I relied on a power that wasn't my own. I guess the <laughs> master was like, "Eh, go ahead and pull me, champ. You earned it. <laughs> I, you and survived now, the back effects of it. Mm-hmm. And now he has a master sword, and now he has to give back Jason's which he was always going to do it's just now he has one and he really really doesn't know how to feel about that i'm gonna be real here <laughs> he never felt like he deserved it in the first place and now that he's strong he's like fuck hmm. oh no what about you polo going into this uh once again just like everybody else you had been drawn here by demise's connection that you had had with them <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. Upon coming in, you had learned uh, that you were able to not only sense the monsters, but the demons who were completely com uh, completely controlled the forest. You learned a little bit, a little bit crazily, because you were AFK at the time. I'm sorry. Um, that, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's, that's uh, also low key on me though. <laughs> that your that your father was so strong that he was literally single handedly stopping the revival of uh, this Ganon without probably even knowing it just by existing. Um, but you also learned that the one that orchestrated it, the one that might've sent the demon uh, that had uh, uh, that had done the things to them in the first place, the mother of, uh, of both uh, your brothers might have been sent there by Ganon or at least the people around him. Is there anything else that might have happened during this arc that has shifted anything inside of you or anything that I haven't mentioned that might have uh, given a bit more uh, onto you? Um, it honestly, the only thing that it kind of makes her want to do now is, again, try to figure out how to get her brothers to first reconcile. Um. I, I don't know how to how to tell their how to tell her brothers uh, that their mother was a honey trap, <laughs> <Ouch>. <laughs> and that dad fell for it like a dumbass. You know, I think I knew that all along, actually. <laughs> Maybe that's why uh, I'm so into mom. No, anyway. <laughs> um, I I I can't say it's it's shifted any sort of trajectories within her at hmm. the moment. Um, but yeah, it's 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 it, more solidified what was already there. You think? Yeah. Okay. Not to mention, again, you're gonna be going to your to your father's uh, final temple soon. So that's yeah. Good. She she feels like what maybe maybe once she go, goes there and maybe if if it works the way her her brothers have said, like see him converse with him for herself in some way, shape, or form. Maybe, maybe those sorts of things will sink in. Maybe she'll have more questions to ask. But right now, she's kind of like she, she's she's learning things that she wishes her brothers were also there for. Yeah. And Gorthos. 
throughout this, you had just came from speaking with Demise, having uh, the Ooh. understanding that a lot of things you thought had shifted, uh, learning more about uh, the four riders that had joined you before, as well as the hundred heroes that were here at your behest. You finally learned that if everything had gone the way it should have, they would have all lived and everything would have been good, if not for this threat that apparently came from the future. As you have finally gone through all of this, however, and you have finally uh, seen everything, you ended up having to make a bit of a sacrifice, which was get rid of your oldest living skeleton that you had, uh, that you had messed your, uh, that you had gone through this entire journey with in order to save Atalanta. Learning that at least as far as time is concerned, you were the original one to basically save yourself. Has anything else happened when it came to everything? I don't want to mention the entire thing over again because a lot of this was a little Gortho centric with the with the okay. uh, with the Ganon stuff. But uh, yeah. has anything else that I didn't mention uh, gave uh, gave you a bit more things to think about, or did I fail to mention something that uh, was very important to you? And how are you mm. thinking of going through this going forward? Oh, yeah, the Atlanta stuff hit pretty hard. The fact that he was able to even save one of them was more than he, you know, honestly thought would happen. But, uh, finding out that time is cyclical only sometimes is really fun. <laughs> uh, time is funny that way. And uh, he has not, he's, he won't suffer repercussions, it's fine. <laughs> um, I think... The big thing of past prequel Gorthos, I guess, the, the other one. I mean, that whole right show showdown with Ganon was intense, so that's fun to learn technically what my backstory game was. If you think about it in a certain point. <laughs> you guys always want to bring that shit up. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. The game was time. <laughs> but uh jokes aside, that was intense and in learning that the only real reason he survived that was thanks to Oberon's fucking delayed fire blast was fun. <laughs> um But considering everything and now that, that every all the memories are kinda connected, he's basically at a hundred now. Uh, sort of. As but much as as much as you feel you as, need as a hundred as he physically can be at this point. What do you feel Literally. about learn? How did you feel about learning the reason behind your reincarnation cycle being disrupted? The fact that this is That's... the only the last life you have being so connected to the events that just happened. The fact that fucking sword tears away immortality is super bad. I can make it better. <laughs> no, 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 no! It should have took uh, me out in one swipe. Yeah, it should. It should just. It should just fucking one swing, just cascade effect, cuts through time. I'll fix it. I'll, I'll make. I'll make sure that it destroys all the goodness. It'll be. It'll be great. No. no. <laughs> it needs but, to be broken but... to tiny pieces and scattered across the world. You're right. It needs to be sand. broken into tiny pieces and reforged into maybe a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> something you were useful like anything else uh, <laughs> the fact that ganon spent a thousand years plus a thousand years maybe forging this by quenching it in fucking demon blood and malice to make it do this thing is fucking nightmarish and i'm super worried about that um but i'm have to just have him cut his own fucking head off with it that will be fun to try and figure that one out. His whole but. plan was to create an age without heroes so that nobody would mm -hmm. be able to really do much of anything about it while he was doing that. And it seemed yeah. that he is somehow able to succeed in that. He's only succeeded in cutting away immortality. He hasn't succeeded in shit yet. Still a thousand years to go. We'll see what else it's supposed to do. Yeah. I can't believe the thing is comes back. The thing is, now that he under now that we I have the full picture, Gorthos has the full picture now. He knows what he, he kind of has a good plan of what to do. It involves well, firstly, it involves 
gathering up the treasures and dealing with the sacred realm because there's no fucking way we're letting a Ganon get near that. With that One sword. second, I gotta stop somebody from doing something. Oh shit, what? The door dash driver dropping off in the wrong spot. My guy does that sometimes. Oh, fucking two buildings over because it's like, man, the fucking numbers on the side. I wonder how you fucked it up. <laughs> Can't believe Deco is dead. I'm sorry yeah. about that. <laughs> I, I was smelling don't, something don't strange coming. Early. I was smelling something strange coming from the vents, and I'm like, somebody is smoking in my house. I'm gonna go tell them to stop. <laughs> oh wow! Sometimes I can still hear their voice. I, I'm right here. I'm right. I'm right here. <laughs> it's me. Sorry, I was looking at Fro I was looking at Frostpunk two beta footage. What? It's me. <laughs> But yeah. As I said. But uh stopping Ganon from getting near the sacred robe with the Khan killer sword. Um that's bad. Probably a very important thing, is, thing. Yeah. Also getting probably helping Zel Zelda and Vega and Rocket in the desert. Probably should be step two of this plan because shit is hitting the fan and he's had a thousand years to fuck around at this point now, now that we're back. Mm-hmm. So technically, he's had 2,000 years to fuck around, and who knows how bad it's gotten. But it's clear that this thing has trend, has gone beyond demise, so... Pretty bad. Okay. <laughs> but I think I have a plan. As each of you so. <laughs> have gone through this harrowing experience, I would like to give each of you one heart piece. Wow. Whoa. As well as oh, yeah. two stat points. Hey. Wow. Upon making your way through the forest, getting yourselves as far as you felt you could, making sure that you were able to get through the different trials that lay ahead. I believe that that is a good chance for you guys to get a little bit stronger. Just a little bit. Uh, not, not a whole bunch. Fucking just, hope so. God just, damn. Just a little. You know, just, just, just a tiny bit. Your yeah. max is still seven for any stat. Fair. You can put these wherever you'd like. Anywhere else. Bloop, bloop. And bloop. But yeah. Help you guys get a little stronger. Whatever you want to do. Good times, good times. Had by all, had by all. Hmm. As each of you find yourselves swept up going forward throughout all of time, at least you hope. You are now in the same place you were in before. A large, open, more desolate area of the forest. The light that is shining down from it still being red, but more a sunset than anything. You can feel the different connections you guys had with the rest of the forest returning. The connection you had Polo with Demise, as well as all the other times that you felt you could have used uh, Gorthos. All of those things reconnect to you. As each of you bring yourselves. Once again, the last thing I had said, I believe last time was Matilda looking as if they were waking up. Some kind of a understanding coming to their eyes. Marco <laughs> holding aloft two master swords despite only needing to pull out one. <laughs> 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 uh, 
all of you have made it. <laughs> oh, what an exhilarating adventure. All right. I was trying to I was trying to keep my face through all of that, but oh my god, you just see Oprah <laughs> fall down to her knees. <laughs> oh, oh, easy there. <laughs> like like I, I already <laughs> said Marco's on the ground. It's like I was it's like Oprah's just like I was trying to make sure to keep a brave face through all that, but ha. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, Polo? No, I, I remember she was digging Gallon out of a giant Ophi cocoon. Oh yeah, Ophi. He is, he is, he is all the other Ophis were doing Ophi things because she wasn't watching. Oh yeah, them. I forgot. Marco and G Gorthos were grabbed by Ophis. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, just hear, you, just hear, you just hear fucking Gorthos laughing from inside the cocoon. <laughs> As you guys feel the safety of this area completely envelop you, you weren't really feeling it too much when you were in the back, whenever you were back in time, weird. Uh, but you do feel that there is a sense of normalcy here, that perhaps time works similarly to how it worked over in uh, Demise's area, where you're decently sure that you are out of any effects of the forest currently. Nothing is nothing is affecting you quite as much as you uh, would think it did. It comes to your mind that way because you do hear a screeching sound high above you and a shadow going over of the rock, but it does not stop. It seemed to only briefly go over all of you. As eventually, oh, as eventually, Ophi and um, Ophi releases. Uh, Marco and Gorthos, having thoroughly cleaned them. <laughs> Gallon has been regurgitated as well. Ah! <laughs> oh dear. Obra is helped to their feet by Ronan. <laughs> mm -hmm. Once it looks like she's uh. up and uh, looking like she can heck and stand. Uh, he's gonna make his way over to Matilda and see how she's doing. You make your way to Matilda, who currently has a fill next to her. Uh, she is weird. She is weirded out that this large horse, uh, this large war horse is leaning down at her and put in, putting her, his, its nose on her, uh, trying to check her out, I guess. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but uh, there's also a muscular frog and a frog army beside of her as well. Um, <laughs> As you make your way over toward Matilda, the others getting themselves their bearings, uh, you find that Matilda seems to very, very slowly look to you from any kind of prompting you give them. Uh, Ronan. Hey there. Ronan. Yeah. Hey. Hey. How you doing? How you, it's been, it's been a minute. Uh, did somebody have a bomb chew explode in my head? Uh, I mean, it may, no, but there have been bomb chews, so I don't know. I always heard but, that uh, if you, if you left your, if you, uh, if you left food out, then a bomb chew would crawl in your ear and you'd wake up with a headache. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> That's probably just the evil shadow medallion or whatever it was. Yeah, fucking whatever that was, yeah. <laughs> uh, Here, uh. Did you... Did you get him, that guy? Uh, he went, like, uh, he fell in the hole. Oh, good. Uh, we don't know where he went, but... You also yeah. fell in the hole. <laughs> well, not you. <laughs> yes, you. I mean, yeah, yeah, you also, yeah, you fell in the hole. You also fell you in also the hole. You also fell in the hole. <laughs> Jason put you in the hole. Well, Link put you in the hole. Uh, using where? Jason's body. Uh, where's Jason? What? They start or, looking uh, around. Well, <laughs> uh, technically, right over there, and points over to Link. Link waves. <laughs> they go to get up, and you just see, making their way over, uh, is a Hosier followed by a Link. Um, as Hosier does give a look over toward where Marco is, but Marco is currently being uh, surrounded by his dad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he makes his way over. Princess, there's many things you need to know about, but right now we need to figure out where in this place is safe. 
that <laughs> creature just flew over. That creature just flew above us. The rock. Uh, yeah. I mean, we could we probably, probably handle it, but we need to we need to figure out if we're gonna handle it, right? Yeah. Also, didn't those other two want to get in on that as well? Yeah. Should we return to Dompe? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Matilda's looking over at Link, and then they just look back to you. That's not Jason. <laughs> Uh, uh, well, it, it, no, it's, it's not. Jason's uh, body. It, it, it's it's a re whole you know reincarnation we'll, thing. We'll fix it. <laughs> yeah, we're 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 gonna we're we'll gonna figure out, out how to fix it. it. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna hate. She's gonna hate what she finds out. <laughs> Don't worry about it. The rest of you, uh, yeah. you guys here. <laughs> Uh, this come up. Marco, as you find that your father is trying to help you up, do you let him? Yeah. Your father helps you to your feet. Uh, this happen often with these creatures? Uh, yeah. They, they really like to make things clean, apparently. They are a recent addition to our, um, our merry band of weird animals that we keep collecting. We have two tamers among us. He looks over toward one of them. He could swear it licks its lips. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? The frog. This one. <laughs> <laughs> this one here. Gallon sort of just shakes himself off as Ophi Prime moves over with a with a small little rag and begins wiping his face off. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. Enough of that. <laughs> Hands his pot to the other one. <laughs> I think I agree. Unless we're going to take out that bird, we should go somewhere else, right? Yeah. For the moment, I think we should leave. I mean, we can't just uh, leave our leave our little buddy off with uh, the Lord of All Evil, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's true hopefully it's been long enough here that he's been able to find something <laughs> that's crying <laughs> as far as we know we've only just left good you guys get there where have you guys been it's been 20 years no. <laughs> the dog already died <laughs> oh no oh no I had to bury it no. <laughs> and for some reason, teleportation in the, in, in, in the in the forest wasn't working. I don't know what happened. It didn't start working till you guys came back. No, anyway. Um, is everybody cool with moving themselves back over toward where Dompe is? Slash demise. Sure. As as they're packing up and going, you want to look at all of them and say, "Tell them all." <clears throat> He just starts clapping. You all did spectacularly. You are those hasn't seen as any of that in so long. <laughs> oh, he thought for just a moment we might have had to fight him <laughs> at the end there. Uh, your dramatic timing needs a little more work, Marco, but you're very close to perfect. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Oh, that's what you were doing. You were trying to be dramatic with it. No. <laughs> I was wondering, because you looked like you were struggling after a while, but you've been lugging that one around a long time. It didn't seem to be that heavy. Well, you see, <laughs> this isn't mine. <laughs> it's the hero. Yeah, it's Jason's. Where's Jason? I want Jason. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, for a good awakening. Anyhow. You guys. <laughs> Begin to make your way. Polo, you mm. take the lead because you're the only one that would really know how to get there. You find, as you move through the forest, you all do step your ways back Where? into the graveyard. 
bringing up the rear of the graveyard uh, is uh, several individuals, mostly being uh, what appears to be uh, Atalanta um, and uh, the large amount of frogs that are taking their sweet time because larger frog is waiting for smaller frogs. <laughs> As most of you make your way through, eventually you find there is a slight growling but there's an acknowledgement as you think for a moment there is some danger from you approaching the center of this place uh as the uh the uh uh the, the kari makes their way to you they look to you blade drawn large spear in their hand but they do stop and allow forward they were told to protect argo after all <laughs> mm -hmm. Go ahead. Welcome back. You have more with you. <laughs> oh, such slight. We tend to do that. <laughs> it was a rescue operation, after all. Mm -hmm. Among other things. <laughs> As you all get further in. Atalanta begins looking at all the different graves in this place. As they do, they step off and look toward one of the ones that, is, that are closest and sort of stops. Hmm. This place is familiar. Yes, it's a memorial in a way. I see. Understood. Oh, well, they've been well taken care of. Looks like it. Hmm. I'll go around, see if any of those traitors snuck in. They start going to the different graves as if they're looking for, for names of traitors. <laughs> <laughs> But that's not out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys approach the center. Unless any of you are staying with Atalanta, but Atalanta seems mm -hmm. to be making some kind of a effort to be alone. Mm -hmm. He's not gonna fix it. As the rest of you would make your way into the center area, you would find that there is an Argo. Uh, there is a few new things around Argo. You find that there is not only uh, a chair having been brought over, but also what appears to be a blanket uh, and several mugs have been placed uh, near where the, uh, where the center of this place is. Uh, Argo seems to have been here for a little, by for a little while. Uh, probably not 20 years, but <laughs> a little probably. while at least. As Argo yeah. looks back to all of you. <sighs> I'm almost done. One second. All right. No. Okay. He seems to be looking into the uh, the outer pool uh, as he's doing so. You find that there is a bit of a shine to it. Um, do you guys want to leave Argo alone, or do you guys want to do anything? What's he looking at? Do you want to see what he's looking at? I kind of do. Yeah. <laughs> as, like, uh, unbothersome as possible, he's just going to kind of, like, take a peek over, <laughs> over the water. Gorthos, you said you were as well? Yeah. Uh, Marco, are you doing anything? Yeah, he's a curious little guy. Yeah, I thought so. It'd be really funny. Anyway, so... <laughs> oh, boy. You find that as the three of them make their way, uh, Polo, you think to go for a second, but the three of them uh, immediately have volunteered themselves to go forward. As they did, mm -hmm. right as the three of them start looking into the area, because, again, no one's going to stop Marco. Marco's too fast. No one's going to stop Gorthos. Gorthos just does things. Ronan's too yes. big. Um, <laughs> as the yeah. three of them look over, you just hear Argo. No, wait! And you find that both Gorthos and Ronan immediately freeze 
and Marco falls over. <laughs> I'm still weakened from my back. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> the three of them seem to have gone into some kind of a trance. As immediately, uh, uh, Marco's father goes for Marco. You see Obra making their way over. You see everybody like looking, looking forward. Uh, at the moment, Link just has like an amused look, like, "Oh no." <laughs> 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 um, as Argo looks over, nobody look into the pool. Uh, Sorry, I would. I should have mentioned. I'm. I've been trying to figure out more things about the desert. The first time I tried to look into it as well, I fell back into the trap. Oh, dear. Uh, they'll probably be fine. They're most likely communing with the, the, the queen again. Um, did everything go well? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yes. Good, good. Sleep. <laughs> so you're so why why do you want to talk to my sister? I, I was looking for things. <laughs> I wasn't trying to talk to your sister. I mean, it just happened to happen a couple times. Is all, and now it doesn't even happen anymore. So it's fine. Are you fine with that? <laughs> you see Gallon just are has you... his eyes closed as he's, as he's just like leaning into Argo. <laughs> uh, are you teasing him? Oh, should I stop? I'm sorry. I just thought... I just... No. I, <laughs> I, I mean, is, is there an issue if he is interested in... the in, in... Oh, no. Love, I mean... Oh, no. Let love, le let love go. <laughs> but, you know. It is, he is trying to date my sister. You have many sisters. I don't think you could be protect <laughs> a protective older brother towards all of them. I can try. <laughs> and fail. Oh, I've, I failed. I failed continually since the day I was born. Very, very hmm. men, very men crazy, all of them. Hmm. Well, when you consider the fact that the only males that they do actually have organically that are their own, they can't be with uh, sucks to be them yes it does <laughs> it, it does suck to be them <laughs> <laughs> just processing that, like uh and that is why I cannot wait to flaunt you around the entire city <laughs> once it's safe uh yes w w once it is safe Gorthos and Ronan. <laughs> the two of you had made your saves against the uh, against the trap before. Yeah. Marco. <laughs> I have to roll again. <laughs> go, 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 go. Why are you not going to let me roll? Marco, you are rolling with disadvantage. Oh, no. Master Sword, help me here. Why do I oh, have a miracle? I would like you. Oh, Master Sword, Master Sword. I would like you oh, to roll me, this time for your experience at least, if that helps. Yay. Last time, Wait, it, was, last time, time it was for stat? you. Last time it was for your charm. Oh, cool. Thanks. <laughs> but it's a, a bit of experience yeah, now. I don't have a high uh, one you just got a fleeting, so only you only have to roll one. You don't have to do it. Don't have to do something. Yay! Oh, that's a heroism. Never mind. You still have disadvantage. Oh, <laughs> that was a, that was a heroism. My bad. Oh. Well, I'd like to use my heroism. Thank you very much. Of course. Oh, I'm sure you have one around here. There you go. <laughs> Roll that. <laughs> Man. That is a ten, Marco. <laughs> Surely, why, why, why the DM summer? Why, why am I at disadvantage? I need to know. Well, because you already, you already uh, had it. Not to mention, uh, you are one of the only ones here. Unless you can give me a good reason why well, you wouldn't be tempted in this moment. Well, Ozzy is right there. Uh, Ozzy is currently... right there. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> we are currently in a very sacred, very. Uh, a holy uh, a <laughs> graveyard. 
And I am a Hylian with the Hylian tree. Hmm. Well, Eggy you did just say that he hit the wrong one and gave you a fleeting inspiration. So sure. Thank you. <laughs> you can, you can, you can, uh, you can take the sixteen. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you did it, probably. Yeah. The if DC Eggy, was eighty-seven. If Eggy did not do that, I would have said no. <laughs> hmm. Yes, the three of you. Upon looking into the pool would immediately come into contact with the face of the Gerudo Queen. As you guys would see it, it would look to all of you before all of you felt the entirety of the world fall from beneath your feet. As it does, similarly to last time, Ronan and Gorthos, you've, you've felt this feeling before. Uh, Marco, this is the first time you felt this particular feeling. <laughs> the last time it wasn't as it wasn't as uh, wasn't as clear for you. I'm trying to find them. Where are they at? Are they, are they on the map? They might be on the map. They're not on the map. Where the hell are you? Crazy, crazy Gerudo lady. Nah, they're not that bad. <laughs> you find yourself face to face with the so-called queen of the Gerudo. You would more call them the the chieftain. Because that is what the actual title should be. Mm -hmm. That being said, they have called themselves queen. As they stand <laughs> looking towards you, you will find that she seems to be waiting for one of you to either say or do something. Oh, we're doing this again. Okay. You're like, ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all in the same? You guys like, all see each void? other. Okay. Yeah, this is this is somewhat different as all of you looking around would see the others. So all three of you are oh, present. Oh, you guys are here this time. Weird. This is a, new. As if it could work on Gorthos a second time. It didn't work the first time. Like, matter of fact, it didn't even work then. So, ha! <laughs> I can't find her. Dang it. I like having the token out so that we can, we can, we can say hi. Is she over by all, like, the collection of NPCs over there? Uh, I was looking through Let's that collection. Here. I don't think so. I was looking over around there. Uh, it's fine. We don't have to worry too much about it. But, as you do see her, she hasn't seemed to make much of a uh much of a chance of talking to you hmm. she doesn't seem to have brought them uh, brought any kind of uh any kind of attention to herself she just seems to be staring toward all of you reading chieftain queen would have been nicer but i get it <laughs> he's old-fashioned sometimes Hello, you? all of you. You are hey. Ronin, right? I remember uh, you. Yeah. And hey. you're Gorthos. <laughs> I look to Marco. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marco. Marco, right. I think I remember you. <laughs> Sorry. <gasps> yep, good job this time. Thank you. I try. <laughs> I try really hard. <laughs> <laughs> I try really hard. I try so fucking much. <laughs> well, it's rather interesting to speak with all of you here. How have you been? You seem rather ragged. <laughs> oh, the stories. Un dealing with unspeakable evil tends to do that too, yeah. <laughs> Don't let me hold you. You have seemed to have fallen into my trap again, but I've already spoken with a couple of you, so there's no real need for any kind of uh, thoughts there. We should be able to part from each other in just a few moments, maybe a minute or so. Either way, I will not be in your hair for long. 
He doesn't suppose you have any kind of knowledge of current events back in the valley. Current events? What is it you're trying to learn? There was a group of people that made their way there. A donu, a demon, and a Hylian woman. Ah. You speak of those who accompanied the goddess. Oh, we can drop that for each other. Good. Yes, where is Zelda? <laughs> it's really odd that all of you are hiding her, but again, I get it. But they are here. No need to worry. And they will be here for a while. They're unharmed. <laughs> they are as... They are as good as whenever I first saw them. Unfortunately, it did seem like there was a bit of a scuffle whenever they had first found way to each other. <clears throat> but the goddess, of course, is unharmed entirely. The other two have small scrapes and bruises. They had met with a group of my iron knuckles. They should be lucky to count themselves still among the living. You underestimate their true power, both of them. Do I? They do. did seem that they were strong, very capable, but it didn't seem like it was much trouble. Even I could still? tell that one of their hearts wasn't truly in it, but in the end, it wasn't much of a detour. That being said, they are unharmed, and they will make their way out eventually. Not that you can deliver this knowledge, but we will be coming to collect them and finish business in the Gerudo Valley as well soon. Is there any reason to do so? Collecting them, I mean. As uh, I mentioned, they will be making their way out eventually of their own accord. Eventually is too vague. There's too much happening. <laughs> the ideal eventually would be whenever they want to. Yes. You're not there, Paula. Oh yeah, I'm not. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Polo has been like, oh, they're talking to the they're talking to the lady. Hold on. Look, someone, in. someone. Hold, I, I had a brain fart. I'm really sorry. Someone I'm for oh. mind projection. <laughs> hold on. Someone, take off the Polo puppet. Get it off your hands. <laughs> I cannot I find. I cannot find. Demarco, this bitch. take off the Polo puppet. I cannot find this bitch uh. anywhere. She is not in this room. Did you <laughs> import a new one? I, I you might will, not have I, ever put her in the game. I did put her in. You guys have seen her. Did, he, they did. Yeah. You guys have seen her before. I just can't find yeah. her. We have? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we have. If well, I, we have. Hold on. Let me just. Well, what color is her outfit? Let me just it's like grab. Black and gold, right? Like. Yeah, let me just grab. And they, have the thun, they have like the thunder. They have like the crown on them. Uh, search. I'll just search through my, cool. through my shit. Um, but yeah, yes. Fun. As. <sighs> You say that. You say that the uh, best would be whenever they want. Well, even if they didn't do much harm, they are still needing to bring themselves forward for what they did. What did they do? They attacked. They attacked a small group of my Iron Knuckles. The two of them, they were defeated, yes, but it didn't come with any sort of non-repercussion you can't just simply attack someone on the road is that what flies in hylian society no what? but i can't what? imagine them those two at least going after a bunch of people out of nowhere especially with zelda i believe one of them uh whenever my group had got back to me had said and i quote I feel something strong. Here I go. 
No, yeah, that's that, one of them. That does sound like. like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he did actually do something. God damn it! I feel someone strong. Here I go. You will have them on trial then. Trial isn't what I feel should happen with them. In fact, I think it would be a waste to put them on trial for something they would inevitably lose. There's no reason to have punishment as long as they make up for it, don't you think? How do you think they should make up for it? It's not, it's not according to me. It is according to the people. I believe in just one week's time, we will figure out exactly what to do with them. Though I believe that consensus is mostly with the two of them in particular to have them stay for around a year. If they stay the here for around a year, then they will have fulfilled whatever they needed to fulfill and they can make their way away. A year. A year's time, yes. Surely there's no other kinds of ideas among the people. <laughs> well, they will be treated just as any other criminal would in that year. And then when they are released, they will be brought to your lands by escort. <laughs> My knowledge of Gerudo society is not terribly stellar, is it? How once do they again, treat criminals? Once again, uh, you know from your thoughts whenever uh, they were at their worst, criminals would probably be just executed on the spot. Whenever they are not at their worst, whenever they are somewhat all right, whenever they are, you know, Reasonable. Reasonable. It would just be a normal prison sentence. However, your thoughts immediately go to what Kuro had mentioned to all of you. Yeah. And the fact that a bunch of men has been disappearing from all around the areas. Does Korthos want to bring that up? <clears throat> so... It'd be something that would be pretty pretty prevalent to each of you with the with the idea that people have been disappearing yeah. and the fact that Koro had said that uh, the queen in general had uh, attempted to keep him there uh, so that uh, so that she could have him basically no what would entail their year long imprisonment again that is all to the people I am not a dictator nor am I any kind of uh sovereign in that respect i will have final say to make sure it is fair but in the end it'll be up to the people to determine the exact fate of them <laughs> and as i mentioned currently they're thinking of keeping them around for a year for their community service speaking of the people mm -hmm. there have been reports of many of the Hylian and Cuban and other men having gone missing in Lower High. And Zora. And Zora, yes. Would you happen to know about any mass, I guess, incursions of men in your, in your lands? Oh, yes. Yeah, she's, you're, I mean. We have them all here. causing it. I mentioned it to you last time, I believe, Ronan, but the idea was to get people over here. And it did work. And most of them have regained their own facilities. They did as soon as they stepped through the gates, of course. And most of them have decided to stay. They have found wonderful lives inside the walls of our new city. That's great and peachy, but they need to go back home. Most of if, them, at the very least. Well, I said most of them have found um, have found good lives here. I highly doubt that a lot of Zora would have a great time in the desert. 
to be quite honest. <laughs> oh, they love it. We actually have a great river running through our city now. You have a great river now? Mm-hmm. We found that a is... nice bit of water making its way down from the northern mountain. Mountain. Whenever we relocated closer to the mountains, uh, closer to the stone temple, we have found our ways much changed by not only the river, but also the large influx of people. We've even made like a very... Sin I feel we've like even, we need <laughs> We've even made a very uh, Hyrulean addition to our city by putting a great wall around it. A wall? Hmm. Around the Gerudo? Hmm. I thought there already was one. Oh, that mm. was not a great wall. <laughs> that was just a wall. <laughs> no, it was... Our last settlement was extremely yes. small. This one is much more grand. Both of us are called great fortresses in the desert at a time. I'm trying to so, find good music. Give me... Is, are, is this good? No, that's so way too good. changes to your society, that means that you'll... Remember your men from now on all the time, correct? With an influx of men to the society, I believe it would be hard I... to not remember them. Email me word out. I sense hostility when you bring that up. Have my hmm. brothers said cruel things about us? Mm. No, Galen and Kuro speak, for the most part, of only positive memories. Mm. There's fewer things in this world that either of them would love, Gorthos would have wager. Then there should be no problem. Why the animosity, Hylian? The people that came to you seemingly unwillingly at first but are still there they still need to answer for the families that they've apparently abandoned if they can't just go away and live in the desert scot-free of what's happened here why not people have done it's so just, all the time that's... when people leave hyrule they don't have to make their way back just because they have family people have free will hmm. they can leave whenever they wish an exodus as such as completely disrupting all almost all business in southern hyrule cannot go unchecked by the king can you not keep people there is southern hyrule just not a very attractive place to live right now when it chances by will sapping magic it is difficult for one to have a choice in such a matter as i mentioned as soon as they step through our walls that is gone and most of which have decided to stay that magic was to get them here, but if they wanted to leave, surely you would have heard of a large group of fighters making their way out and finding their way back, would you not? It'd be hard if there are groups or groups of uh, iron knuckles stationed around the entire desert. They make their way through, yes, but they are there to keep our desert safe. Since we took the stone temple as our own, the, the Iron Knuckles had to make their way in different areas. They are peacekeepers, mostly. They make their way through, yeah. making sure that everything keeps yeah. themselves aligned, but they are no hazard to anyone in the lands of Hyrule. By the way, yeah. this is actually very good that you bring this stuff up, actually. You are all champions of Hyrule, are you not? Yeah. Yes. And when last I spoke to you, Ronan, you had said that you had no thoughts of making your way to me. Taking me up uh, on my offer because you have someone of your own, correct? Well, not that offer. I remember you saying that you, like... I would still love to see you, yes. But you have no re you have no thought of, keep of thinking of the other, correct? No. Hmm. Since I have no connection to any of the champions of Hyrule now, I guess, then could you please deliver a single message for me? Any of you, really. 
And that would be? Well, you had just mentioned, Hylian, that a mass exodus of people would not go over well with the king. So it is with great uh, loss that I must say, and great hardship, that I believe we are to be leaving Hyrule. Please. Hmm. We will be rescinding our great promise, as of right now. Which means all the people that came to the valley can go home, right? Whenever they wish, yes. But so many will right. go with you on your exodus. I was not the one that used the term, but it is quite nice uh, of a way to put it. I have a, I have a question for you. This mm-hmm. might seem unrelated, but it, I, it is. Of course. Uh, have any sages come by lately in your town sages yeah i don't believe so we have opened our doors to many people as of late but no one has come to me saying they are a sage orthos will describe what vati and agonim look like quotes look like And Ronan will also describe what, uh, who is the sage that's been going around fucking with people's brains? Again, it's the sage of creation, right? Or the sage of light, or whatever? What? Or was that, that was, was that, that was Vati. That was, that was okay, Vati. Yeah. Or no, Aghanim? One of them. <laughs> Ag- okay, Aghanim yeah. was the skeleton, Vati was yeah, yeah, yeah. You covered both the bases. Yeah. <laughs> Vati, hmm. sage of light, and darkness, I guess, and Aghanim is the sage of life. Uh, I haven't seen anyone, though I have seen some amount of uh, sorcerers that have came to town in similar garb as to what you had described, the purple-like visage robes. They were not very talkative, so we had them stay outside of our walls for a time. Why is it you ask? Oh, because there's been a sage going around messing with people's minds lately and i figured the only possible explanation as to why no my mind has been my mind has been clear for quite some time i'm not talking about you i'm talking about you know all the people who came to the desert and suddenly want to stay there despite having left their families and having responsibilities elsewhere perhaps the people who stayed have their own reasons And again, some have left. You might find that some have made their way back. And if you do find them, you can ask them yourselves how things are here. But again, if you'll be so kind as to let the king know that we rescind our promise. We will deliver it. Thank you. It is not without thought that I give this. It is with understanding that he will use one of his other protectors to keep everything in check. Marco, Gorthos, and Ronan. Yeah. You feel the area begin to shift as if the dream is starting to end. Would the three of you please roll me for your diligence? Well, it's a good thing I just put two new points into my diligence. <laughs> we don't need that music. Not that one either. I will roll. I have nothing we'll to put in. Let us roll with great vigor. I'm going to re-roll that. I like that number. That is a 20. There you go. Uh, that's a 19. I got a 3. With a 19 and a 20, as they spoke the last words they said, as they looked to you all upon saying it, you can't help but feel that there is a note of warning with what she said. Whether she was warning against people coming to the desert to stop them or warning of something else, they seem to be trying to give a word of warning to the three of you. 
Could you repeat what she said at the, at the end of that? She had said that uh, they will be rescinding their promise and that when it, uh, you go and deliver the message to tell them to make sure to give their defense to one of their other capable fighters, one of their other capable from uh, capable peoples. She seemed to linger on that for a moment. Both Ronan and Gorthos feel that that is what they linger on before again, the area around begins to sort of shift as if the dream is ending. Ah, well, it seems as if this is all the time we have. If you ever want to speak again, be sure to have that cute little Kokiri send a message, okay? Also, we'll tell him speaking. to stop looking into everything here. It is making people nervous. <laughs> Of course. How? You're the only one that's ever seen it. Whenever one uses a fountain as pure as the one he is using now, those who have the persuasion can feel it. Especially when mm -hmm. they know something isn't supposed to see. We will let him know. But great chieftain. The last time this yes. was rescinded, it did not end well for Hyrule or the Guru. He hopes you have not made a deal with the devil. I do not know what you mean, Gorthos. We do not keep records like that. That is your greatest folly. There is a smile that comes from them as again the dream begins to end as you all find yourselves getting up from the ground in Marco's case but in the other two's case just sort of stumbling forward uh, almost no time has passed whatsoever uh, since the whole gallon teasing incident uh, uh, polo you literally are finishing up that conversation by the time the three of them seem to come uh, seem to come to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Get up. Get up, boy. <laughs> Thanks. Argo. What happened? Uh, I told you guys to wait. You didn't I say didn't, don't look. I thought you meant don't distract you. My bad. I'm sorry. No, that's not what he's talking about. Back away from the Gerudo for a small amount of time. Why? You're making them uncomfortable, apparently. Many people have been sensing that they're being watched. It is not a surefire tactic as Gorthus had hoped. You don't understand. Uh, when you guys were having me look more into the golden powers that I sensed, it was... I found something. Uh huh. You know, the one that I had said was a little bit off to the north of the desert? Yes. It, it seemed to have moved. Where? Downwards, toward where the desert is. It moved off the mountain. Whenever I was so trying it's... to sense my way through, I'm trying, was trying to pinpoint where that small bit of golden power that I sensed was before, the one that made its way to the desert, and it seems to be everywhere 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 I've been trying to pinpoint it every time I try to get close though I have a talk with her and the first couple mm. of times it wasn't very uh wasn't <sighs> very good um because mm. it was just the normal talk but eventually I came to my senses and I was able to talk to her normally good job you did it this is proud of you since we're on the same page, how long have we been gone? A couple minutes. No, I meant we have been uh. searching. Oh, you, you guys been in the forest? <laughs> yeah. Uh, about a day. A day. Still Just bad. a day? <laughs> and it's moved that fast, that quickly? Uh, it's odd. Whenever I first used this to try to find everything, Everything was back where it was whenever I had first sensed it, like I had told you all. But the more I used this, the more attuned I became to it. The more I realized this water here is special. 
I believe it's directly from the forest temple. But whenever I was making my way through it, a strange uh, shimmer went through it. Some kind of magic. And whenever I looked to my staff, the one that he just holds out, the one that has the Deku tree seed. Mm -hmm. Whenever I held it aloft above it, I was able to see clearly. Everything shifted. It should have been noticeable, but the places the first time whenever I talked to you all, where all the different pieces of that power was, we didn't look to them, but they were still there. Someone was imprinting my last thought onto it. Not what I could sense in the nor in the normal. They led you astray with a decoy? I would never have known to use my staff if it weren't for Dompe. He said that tricks to my eyes can't seem to, uh, does, um, uh, don't seem to worry through some kind of feel, feeling of the forest. I, I, I don't entirely know what he meant, but eventually I learned it was a, a hint to try to use my staff. You cannot tr magic obfuscates one's eyes. It can't obfuscate the forest. <laughs> so like you, is, it, is it in Gerudo Town? No, uh, it's in the mountains just above. Though, whenever I was sensing her, she seemed to move as well. She wasn't in the place I originally found her all those months ago. And she hasn't moved from the time that I had sensed her before. Even back when we were in Hyrule, it felt like she was in the middle of the desert. Now it feels like she's at the north of it. She did say that they moved to the base of the mountain. The Is spirit the temple. Stone moved. temple? The spirit temple. So it's a terrible name. So literal. Anyway. So wait, did they just abandon the old city completely to move up north? Gerudo I don't know when they did it. Their homes. I don't know when they did it, but it felt like they shouldn't have been able to do it in just a month of time. They might have moved before that. May they might have moved as early as whenever Kuro was last there. Is that why all the men are going there? They need the, man need the manpower to make the new village? If that's the case, that's been there so for months. And on top of that, Rocket and Vega. Zelda. But what about Rocket and Vega? They attacked Iron Knuckles and are being held for punishment. Vega said and was quoted, Gorthos has no reason to doubt. Sorry, Polo. I sent someone strong. I'm going. But there had to be hopefully more than just that. Gorthos suspects so, but to be honest, it is Vega. But Vega knows better than to just attack completely unprompted. Especially when he has the goddess with him. Or maybe sure. because That's he what I was... or maybe because he has her, he felt he had to be more aggressive. He's defensive. been training with Domron, so maybe he wanted to see if he was ready to take them on. Oh come on, Vega. That right there. <laughs> that right there. Also, we have another trick, issue. What's that? They're rescinding their allegiance to the to Hyrule. And they're leaving the continent. They have no plans of forcing the men back to where they need to go, or issuing any punishments to them because they're there of their own free will now. According to her. They're stay in their lives. I do not believe that for a second. Zara would never stay in the desert, even if there was a nice river. As I mentioned before, Whenever we had looked into her last time, I didn't sense the golden power coming from her. But no. now that I sense it coming from most areas in that desert, I don't know what to say. Well, maybe it's only one way to find Chu. out, right? Maybe it's the best with the sand chew that got a piece of Triforce in it, like the forest has with whatever chews here. Probably ridiculous, Marco. It's probably a Moldova. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. Moldunga or not. Something clearly is amiss with the Gerudo. It runs deeper than just the Golden Power. He's seen this happen once before. It's weird. Yeah, I think your mic's being weird. Oh, fuck. Oh, 
<laughs> oh no! Uh, I didn't even notice that noise. I think I think it's just your uh, your like game thingy in Discord. Um, like potentially. It's... I also have the washer. I mean the dryer uh, going. Yeah, that that's might be it. But... I, it's not that big of a deal. Yes. I just wanted to, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, I've seen this happen once before. At least once in the last. How old is he again? It doesn't matter. The last time the Grito broke off from Hyrule was with the Demon King. That that was, was a bad very time. long ago. But it is not dissimilar. Hmm. He acted strange. He thinks, if he remembers right, it was a strange time for everyone. But with Ganon walking around as he is, and we have seen its power firsthand a thousand years ago. He's had a thousand more years to refine his power now. Who knows what he's doing? Mm. But me, the most important thing is to, not just the men, not just our allies, not just Zelda. Even the Gerudo themselves seem to be in grave danger if we don't intervene in some way. Do you think that we should do anything then? What should we do? Should we just march into the march into the sands? We're still waiting for Kuro, right? It's only been a day. He's not set to get to where he wants to go until tomorrow, isn't he? Not only that, we need to make preparations on top of that. I, We can't just keep going forward and not get at least something new. We need to strengthen ourselves, and obviously we still have to talk to the king about the king things. About the <laughs> divine gate thingy, yeah. And the knowledge of the Gerudo decided to rescind their vow. Should we there's some, bring there's that a few things to, the to talk king? to the king about? Uh, hear me out. Should we even tell the king that? If something is going on with the Gerudo, if they are not being able to say this of their own accord, telling the king could just start a war. We've already seen what happens to Hyrule during that with just the Gorons and the Zora going about it. But with the men disappearing, he'll have every reason to send with the men disappearing, all the men towards the desert. With the men disappearing, he'll send everyone. He'll call in the Gorons and the Zora as well. Mm. He'll call all those tribes still loyal to... That's a good point. If we don't want the sands to turn into a, a wasteland, even more than it already is, I don't know. I... I really want to tell the king, but I feel it's wrong somehow. It is. You're growing up, good boy. Go <laughs> <laughs> <Off> for <of> me. <laughs> we. Your first time. Your first time going against the king. Good job. <laughs> it's not as bad. It's not as strong as happy as you think it'd be. But in any case, there are things we need to talk to them about. Decisions to make about the treasures and. Helping the desert. It's clearly something is wrong, and who knows how long we have until they decide to pack up and leave wherever they were supposed to be going. I feel that the best thing for us to do is, at the very least, figure things out with the treasures, just in case they're needed. Yeah, but that's a great, that's a good maybe idea. we do hold off on telling the king about the Gerudo until we know for a fact how dangerous they are. Maybe at least until we find way to get there quickly with Koro. Is that fine with all of you? Yes. Yeah, I think. I mean, she just tell, told, told us to tell him. She didn't say when to tell him, right? So yeah, we have no reason to deliver her message anyway. It also seemed just spur of the moment. It didn't really seem that premeditated to me. If She wasn't even going to send an envoy to deliver it. Like Gorthos said, something is very wrong. With and again, Gorthos. Gorthos and Ronan, you guys heard that hint of warning from them as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That wasn't something, something that apparently Marco picked up from that. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> something is wrong. That's all that matters. That's enough for Gorthos to go there and try and save everyone. Yep. Whatever it is. So, steps forward. Matilda just sort of looks at everybody. It seems that there's a lot of things that are going on. And currently, speaking of not telling a king in front of a member of royalty probably would be considered treason or something. But I do feel that 
maybe we should look into things first? I won't Agreed. tell if you don't. Yeah, I mean, you're used to not also telling your dad stuff. Also, as long as you don't, you know, make me stay in the castle. I'm a you actually, can you guys go and talk to him without me and be like, oh, we're, she's still around, you know? Oh, I figured you'd ask that, yeah. Yeah, I don't really. As, as soon as I go back, he's not going to let me out again. Yeah, <laughs> you are, of course, the highest ranking official here. I need to uh, make sure that I can stick. At the moment. I need to make sure I can stick around and find Jason, even though they're there. But I, uh, real Jason. <laughs> we'll fix that. Also, <laughs> technically, you're not. That would be Domi. Huh? <laughs> we are in the Lost Woods. He is the king of the Kogiri. Oh, the prince. Same difference. <laughs> He's also the hero, oh. apparently. <laughs> that, well, one Why of them is. Say, don't it's think about much. it too hard, your highness. <laughs> the world is a fascinating place. You get used to it. So, in the times that I've been out, you guys apparently got all three treasures? Yeah. Yeah, we uh, nabbed the last one from Gidan. So now all we have to do is go ask why the king wants to use them. And potentially destroy them if necessary. And of course, there is still the one other thing we have to figure out when it comes to them. Mm. Link looks over toward where Dompe is. We will consider that when Gorthos is dying. So don't worry. It won't happen. We'll find another way. Yeah. I don't know about you. But if that thing we saw in the forest is going to get even stronger with that one being around, I would like to get rid of that. Either through getting rid of him, points over toward where the cottage that Dompe's in, or through sending him wherever he can't be a problem anymore. It will be a problem if we send him where he wants to go. That thing but looks like it can single-handedly destroy all of Hyrule. Yes. I don't even want to think of what it can do whenever it's back together. But neither want to be. Yes. If anything, he would probably just kill Dema. Hmm. Hmm. Orthos. <laughs> you can't let that happen either. <laughs> Let's take your one step at a there's time. A, there's just very much a tad like like kind of feeling <laughs> coming from that. <laughs> He's getting distracted. You're right. We'll only have one chance to open the sacred realm, so let's not let's not give the king the treasures if we're not planning on opening it immediately. How about that? Of course, they'll be safe where we've hidden them. Hmm. And as soon as we do go to open it, then we'll decide then to come back for him or not. Yeah. Should we just make our way then? At this point, staying here in the forest, the only thing that's going to get us is more conversations about whether we should go bird hunting or not. We're not going to go bird hunting yet. Soon. Uh, Maybe. Yeah. Rock is delicious. <clears throat> All right, then. Uh, I guess sit tight for a sec, you know. I'll poof us all there. Z and, and Link, if you could let me a hand real quick. Okay. Are you wanting to take everyone back to Castletown? Oh, um, first things first, though. <laughs> <laughs> you see Muscle Magic Frog looking back at you, looking down at all of his, uh, at his, at his legion of, of, uh, of, um, uh, followers. He looks back to you. What are you going to do now, buddy? We're gonna keep on protecting your people. He looks back toward the little ones. Looks towards you. He gives a vestige of the the old wise smile that you have have learned from from older therapy magic frog, but maybe not so wise or maybe not so learned, but he's getting there. <laughs> he still has many experiences to 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 have before that time. Mm -hmm. But he does have have the inklings of potential. Mm. 
Yeah, he does. <laughs> he 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 puffs himself up proudly in front of his in front of his people. Well, Magic Frog one day is just going to pass on, but it's going to be like Uguay when he when the leaves scatter. It's just going to be the fucking Carol <laughs> mask. <laughs> watch <laughs> I know that you'll lead them well and that you'll become the yeah I mean you already are the hero of the frogs so you'll you'll just become a greater hero as time goes on trust me I've seen it he looks to you he looks back toward the ones behind him as he does you feel that there is something more as he looks to you mm -hmm. it looks as if he's wanting something more with you what's up buddy look like you want, want to say something speak Speak to me. Tell me. Speak, speak your words. Your wit. Your wise words. He looks towards your waist, where you hold onto your musical instrument. Oh, this. He nods. Uh, he'll pull, he'll pull it out. As you have the musical instrument out. He looks back toward the others who are here. As it sounds like, five of them hop forward. And they begin to rib it out. As the five begin to rib it, you notice there is a chorus to what they're ribbiting. As they begin to rib it aloud. Oh. It seems as if they are trying to teach you something. <gasps> he will <laughs> begin playing along with them. Is this something that is this like a this is like a new thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this is is this is this different? Is this a new thing? <laughs> as these songs begin to croak aloud, these frogs begin to croak aloud. You find that there is a strange readiness a strange cadence to the song almost almost chaotic in a way give me one second <laughs> next time i'm gonna do a cool magic class to have cool interactions like this <laughs> 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 Magic song, the magic frog song. As you hear, frog song cat. <laughs> <laughs> Are you playing song a song? You hear a ribbiting, very chaotic song coming from them. As you begin <sighs> to try to play it back with them, all of you start hearing large amounts of thunder coming upon the horizon. <laughs> I would like Ronan, please roll me for your diligence. Oh, you fucking better believe I'm gonna use three <laughs> goddess points for that shit. Use everything. Use everything. Use the hero ones too. More. More. I'll use a hero one because that's all I can <laughs> use. Bitch. We can use. We mean. This is my, this is probably most likely the final song you will learn, but it's also my favorite song in all of Legend of Zelda, so that's why it's the last. Okay, well, so uh, twelve on the die. <laughs> Let's see. Eighteen, 18 on the die. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, that would have been so good. You also have one fleeting. Oh, thank you, whoever did I don't that. I've rolled this one either. I haven't. Also, before uh, you roll that one. Before you roll oh. it, before you roll it, put it okay. back down. Put it back down. Before you okay. roll it, you got another fleeting, her uh, fleeting heroism as well. 
Oh shit. Oh. I can I, I can't use them both. Quadruple. Can I? Quadruple. Go. If you use them both, they can't stack, but you have a better chance of hitting the H. And you got oh, one more fleeting just I then see. as well. Get a hut. Oh what? bullshit. The fuck? So that's just a nothing. <laughs> that landed on yeah. a nothing. You got a plus one. Roll one more of these dice, because you got one more fleeting. Highest oh, okay. was an 18 so far. You got a 19 yeah, all together with that plus one. Yeah, so plus then your plus diligence seven. of seven. <laughs> yeah. That is 26. a 26. All of you begin to hear a sound like a very hard rain hitting leaves and trees coming forward. You guys hear the uh, the winds and thunder begin to make its way toward all of you. As you do, you just see Don Pei stepping out from the other side like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, I know this one. As he starts Don't making his way. No, no, no. <laughs> no. He caught the sees that. He just turns around and go, 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 go. <laughs> As... He's playing, bro. <laughs> a rain comes down over all of you. It is a hard rain that makes its way down but as it does it doesn't feel oppressive at least to all of you it feels sort of refreshing as it's happening you almost feel calm standing in this refreshing rain as it happens and as you play through the song relatively well you link and uh and z having uh playing it uh, all together uh, you also see back in the back, there's just an Argo also joining in with his little flute. <laughs> <laughs> and then the five frogs join doing their chorus of it. As all of you <laughs> play the song, eventually the frogs start, start, uh, stop uh, croaking and you find that the song is over. All of you stop playing there is a a little bit of a there's a little bit of a a, a little bit of a clap coming from marco's dad <laughs> it's like, hey, good job. <laughs> you learned it oh, <laughs> um there's just a dompe over in the corner looking like he has more rain than all of you on him as if there's like just a circle of rain folded, scowling. <laughs> <laughs> he does not like it he does not seem to be having a great time <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry that he rained in your parade <laughs> Berthos is so fucking happy right now <laughs> as you do not have it fully yet but you are very close as okay. you are you are going to be training to complete the song of storms as your next song Currently, it looks like it has a rejuvenation-like effect on your allies. Uh, you're not entirely sure what else it has. It obviously isn't a teleportation song because it doesn't have anything really teleporty about it. So it mm. probably has two different effects, whatever those are going to be. Yeah, it should teleport our enemies into the air. They fall <laughs> oh, <away>. no. <laughs> Teleport your enemies oh, into a storm cloud where they get shocked by lightning. <laughs> and, <then they laughs> and, like rain. and die. And die. They, they fall 10,000 feet. It'll be great. <laughs> oh, yes. oh thank you I'm gonna be studying that one hard <laughs> oh no oh no crap look at, look at stream chat y'all please oh no our, our uh, I don't have it up above what? the RP chat in, in, our, in our moderation part oh uh, look at the beauty that has been bestowed upon did. us after oh. the year <laughs> Oh, damn it, okay, so I have to put two things in. All right. Yep. Oh hell yeah. Uh, let me get both of these really oh quick. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the fuck? A throwaway joke, and I love it. <laughs> uh, I feel nostalgic all of a sudden. Hold on. Save as this stupid web piece. <laughs> <laughs> so first things first, let's get that in. Uh, to That's incredible. I'm gonna take two seconds just away from the Song of Storms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love the Song of Storms, but you know, enough is enough. Am I right? It's like it's here all the time. Cord, motherfucker. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Where the heck is it? 
It was it also a web? Damn it! It was all. I also saved it as a Emerald, web. Piece. Give us your best puppet polo voice. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I do not do that gallon. He's Have right. I ever spoken like that? Have I ever even said the word blimey? <laughs> you reply. <laughs> you reply. <laughs> In so many words. Implied <laughs> blimey. <laughs> There's a little, there's a little marking on here I can't get rid of on the center of it that Den did not make, but you know. That is from because of uh, that the, is because the of the thing, yes. But thing. here, here is, here is. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that little puppy. Right, here comes the puppy, of course, trying to get some shocking because it's always Tuesday, isn't it? <laughs> and the other thing I'm offended. That, and the I'm other offended. thing that Kreb uh, that Kreb made I am offended <laughs> is right here <laughs> I won oh hell yeah <laughs> oh my god oh, oh my god, my god. <laughs> Wish to be made I aware of what it. I did. It's just a, ba it's just a battle tongue. <laughs> Yours is the tongue that'll pierce the heavens. No, I have a glasses. <laughs> also, nobody commented. I changed one of these frogs for a funny, and nobody said anything. Oh no! Youngest magic frog. Not yet a magic frog. <laughs> oh, then there's the youngest, and all the not yet. They're all not yet the magic frog. Magic frogs in training. <laughs> well, I didn't do that. Those came like that. Because they were the original magic frogs, like, or the uh, other frog or whatever. Uh, <laughs> Christ, dude. Uh, but yes, jokes. thank you guys very much for, for the <laughs> god. <laughs> oh, blimey, I'm Paolo! <laughs> <laughs> no. I do one oh, dumb. <laughs> now I'm made to pay for it. <laughs> this is bullshit. Look if, look, if every time I dumb, if every time I dumb, I get a den art, that's great payment. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> it's been 84 years since we had a den art. It's a reward. It's been 87 years. <laughs> As they calm down their little, their little croaking, the five of them make their way back into, into the crowd. As most of them begin hopping into the rain, into the woods. Muscle Frog hops forward, looks back toward you. Seems to raise his, his common glasses into the sky, <laughs> reflecting the rain from it. Nod to you, and then flop away. There's <laughs> crooks, crooks that will... Waves <laughs> as the frogs disappear slowly the rain dissipates as well mm. and we are well, all that was unexpected. back to each other though I probably should have expected it he's amazing <laughs> yes he had them learn that song just for you. He didn't. Aww. He couldn't learn it because he's he's not a he's not a he's not an oracle. He's not a minstrel. Yeah. <laughs> but but he had he That's had why. his uh, his allies learn it for you. He needs you for his mm. background music. <laughs> that's why he didn't teach you and that's why he didn't teach you as an old man because he couldn't <laughs> i just gotta place i just gotta play fucking sawyer days on fucking violin <laughs> i'm now thinking of the 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 timeline where where jason uh thinks ronan is her dad but it's actually magic frog teaching her like <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thought you were i thought you here. were green <laughs> <laughs> dad why, you, you, why are you not green Oh God! Now you know what? That's canon. Anyway, let's keep going. How uh, no, 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 about no? Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's That's canon. Not, totally was it. No, I'm playing. It's already bad enough. <laughs> Anyhow, all right. As well, Dompe <laughs> looking to all of you. The rain that was heavy around him seemed to it seemed to still stick around him for a little bit after all of yours stopped. It does eventually yeah. slow to a stop, and he just walks away like fucking. <laughs> 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 uh, 
I'm not sorry. Orthos. Anyway, he st- he will stand <laughs> over here in case anyone needs him, but he's just like f- like like wrenching at his cloak, trying to get all the moisture out of it. <laughs> Orthos has a new favorite song. <laughs> He will uh, begin playing whatever fucking one it is that teleports the castle down. I forget uh, which one it was. Okay. Orthos would go to Atalanta to see if they're willing to come with them. Oh, yeah. Ronan would wait for you to do that. Yeah. Make your way over to Atalanta, who at the at the time will say they were they were a little bit further in there in their jot around all these. They went all the way around. They're up here now. Um, okay. As you made your way. They they seem to have been staring up at the rain for a bit, but then just like looks to you. Everything seems fine. They're all they're all here. Everyone, they're, they're you know nothing, not, nobody, nobody bad. <laughs> like you said, they have been taken care. Of. They protect this place even now. In their own ways. Yeah. What we are so, prepared. What's the plan now? I took something precious away from you. So I feel that I should do something to make up for it. Did you? Yeah. Without my body, I have probably weakened you. Though I guess that's being a bit pretentious, huh? Yours was an extremely skilled and ferocious form. And still is. He just, pat, he just like, pokes the fucking lion spear. <laughs> Maybe whenever I've gotten over myself a bit, I can be as strong as she was. Hmm. She seemed like she strong. was... She seemed like she was a bit more, uh, bold than me. <laughs> or maybe... I just wanted to be a bit more bold. I don't know. Do you want to be more bold? Gorthos can't influence personalities like that, after all. Well, I was thinking about it whenever we were all deciding whether or not to save me or not. (laughs) And it came to my mind that eventually, at some level... In some time, I did do what she did. Or, I guess, there was a time that I went through with it. So, I don't know, I just find that a bit admirable from my side. I feel like I'm the one that is kind of a... Kind of a fuck up. Not, not like in a completely deprecating way I just feel like I'm from a place that I don't know if I ever would have been okay with doing it she was really strong to do that and maybe I can be strong like that too if I work at it a bit better I still don't want to die obviously but knowing that there was a was one of me that went through that of her own accord without any of you pressuring her to do it or without anything like that I don't know it fills me with a bit of determination or something maybe I can be better stronger or at least more decisive of course you can you're the same person it's not some kind of secret, Atalanta. They are you. You are them. It's always been in you to achieve these things. Mm. To make the ultimate sacrifice if you needed to. That is scary. And it's difficult. Even Gorthos has struggled with that from time to time. Even before the mortality thing, but... I should... I should thank the goddess of time. Hmm. I don't know if it has anything to do with her, obviously, but... Imagining 
that I had to go through that, otherwise everything was going to end. Thinking that I had to do it or everyone was going to die was terrifying. But apparently we are in a position where we can fuck around with that as much as we want, at least as far as she's allowing. Even if she didn't do it, and I know that Ronim was mostly the one that messed with that a little bit, even so, I want to thank her. It might be wise, and also to apologize, <laughs> eventually. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. But he's glad to hear it. He looks forward to hearing your legends. I'm ready to new make legends. new ones. <laughs> I don't think that I want to sit idly by. So, if there is ever a time that I can be useful to all of you, just let me know. Until then, maybe I'll try to find a way that I can be around the Kokiri. I know that they weren't my tribe back then, and my tribe's probably long gone at this point, but mm. they are... They're nice. The ones that I went and talked with, at least. The one that shared my name. Uh, I think with her, I'll just go by Anna still. <laughs> Anna. If you so desire it. That won't cause any problems, like, in character and out of character, I'm sure. <clears throat> luckily, the nah. person who... Luckily, the person that talks with me never uses her real name. Um... <laughs> <laughs> well they are good people and well they may not be your tribe but they honored me good. after I was gone hmm. so they are as close as anything well, this person ever attributed things to tribalism like that the whole world's his family, as far as he's concerned. <laughs> For better or worse. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, um, I'm done there. here. No. You can always revisit this place. It is a constant here in the woods. Uh, maybe. She looks around at all the, all the different graves. I... I'm gonna be honest, I don't know I didn't know all of them there's no way, but there were a couple that I knew were traitors, so I wanted to make sure they weren't buried here they were the ones that attacked people in front of me so he thought he knew them all there's a lot of people and unfortunately, whenever you're rushing to stop a monster invasion I'm sure that some people who were in it for bad in the beginning can slip through the cracks I don't believe that all of the Sheikah that I've seen were bad and I'm sure that some of the ones that were involved in the war were fine I, in fact I hope they got out but when it came to those certain ones I'm glad we were able to take care of at least a few of them in the woods when we did. They won't have any... anywhere to go. Anyone else to hurt. The secret of their existence has been let out. They are no longer safe in the shadows. There are plenty good Sheikah still. Hmm. Maybe you'll meet some. They're fantastic. They refuse to, they refuse to let him near their village for some reason. He's going to change it. They cannot stop it. It is around this point that you remember and mm. it starts to sort of weigh on your head a little bit that even without telling Hyrule, there is apparently a small group of uh, female Sheikah warriors making their way into the deserts as we speak, led by Jasna. <laughs> 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 You might have to put an expediation on that. 
That's You're not entirely sure please. where they're at, but... <laughs> please. It was what he loves you to meet, wherever she is. She's a merchant, she's great, very funny. <laughs> she uses a boomerang as a form of weapon. Oh, that's cool. He thought it was a lost art. <laughs> Mark of has one. <laughs> I have a boomerang. Oh, are you as cool as Jasna with a boomerang? I didn't think so, shut up. <laughs> it's cooler than Jasna's because it can be a sword and a mace. Fuck you. Sounds like or you're it thinking it's cool? cooler because it can be a not a boomerang. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like it's versatile. <laughs> you know what else is versatile? A boomerang with a knife trapped to it. Oh, fuck. It's, it's a stabbing <laughs> and positioning weapon. Oh, shit. Did anybody else want to do anything Take while Gorthos was going off to talk to uh, Atalanta? Did anybody want to speak to Dompe? Did anybody want to speak to anybody in the group? They went to just, I don't want to talk just, to Dompe. Just, just to reiterate, Dompe was like, did he get all wet and sad because he hates rain? Oh, he got wet. He got wet and mad because he hates rain. <laughs> okay, she's gonna go check on Mr. Dompe. <laughs> there would have been a, a bit of a like, oh no. <laughs> You he make your way. Probably needs help squeezing his cloak. <laughs> you make your way over to over to Donpe as he is squeezing his cloak, <laughs> as you mentioned. Uh, as you approach him, I hate that song. <laughs> I think this is the most emotive and pretty sure we've ever seen you, Mister Donpe. I got really annoyed at a at a kid once that played that song. It, it's uh, don't worry about it. It's, oh, uh, I see. Bring back, brought back memories of whenever I was hiding everything. Are you all right? <laughs> uh, uh, I sense the malice fine. about you has awoken more. Uh, um, I guess um, our encounter with with Ganon um <clears throat> brought a couple thoughts to the foray, and then there is hearing about what has occurred with my brother sure. I I think that would do it I I am only postulating you call that thing Ganon I'm more set to think of it as a an embarrassing tantrum well it likes to call itself Gorthos oh wonderful <laughs> another I, one <laughs> I, I I for lack of a better one is too long, and I already know a Gorthos, so I I was going to just stick with Ganon. You can stick with Ganon. I will call him Tantrum either way. Mm. But it does seem that you, upon being in that place, have absorbed a bit of malice. Seemed your uh, friend out there has as well. Uh, in Marco? Humans are relatively vulnerable to malice. <clears throat> Humans in general, while they are incredible to put in workforce and other sorts of ways, even the most suitable for any kind of crossbreeding when it comes down to it, they are without the protection of the gods that Hylians have with them. Which is odd when that Hylian over there also seems to be absorbed with it. He must have taken a rather large blow. Either way... Uh, yes. You. You are a demon, but you are also a human. <coughs> Both of yes. which I find incredibly valuable. I have mentioned to you all before that the demon race was my well was essentially my people and that I refused to not listen whenever they made their way to a call mm. which is why I do find that I can make my way in some kind of interactions with them at any time and sometimes it backfires with me sometimes it does not humanity is the same they are in essence something that only came about after everything had happened with my kind. Humanity, I believe, is somewhat derived from me as well. At least far down the line. 
a way to strip those Hylians of their favor. Though, in their own right, it seems they have made a rather interesting set for themselves. But that does mean that, with anything, they would have their weakness. Derived of me as they are, they are the ones that are most susceptible to change when introduced to malice. Is there nothing I can do about that? It shouldn't harm you, as you are a demon as well. You are relatively protected on that front. Absorbing malice I... may just bring out more of your inherent demonic abilities. Did you know that demons like you, ones that have bestial forms, have an even further transformation? Mm, you mean in the case of father and my brothers? Yes. They, I'm guessing, are pure-blooded. But it doesn't mean that it is something that is completely out of your reach as well, if you would like it. Yo, is that hot, Dompe? <laughs> it is. <laughs> he says it is. <laughs> is, that, is that the first time Dompe's ever had even a shred of Riz? <laughs> it's also Demise. <laughs> it's also Demise. It's, it's Demompe? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get into that Demussy? What is no. Dompe doing? Okay. What's that Demompe doing? Is artist Demompe? Hey, let's fucking get it. Well, I was wondering why you were standing behind me. I had to pause, I had to like mute for a second. I was like, can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, just because you are only half demon doesn't mean it is something that is completely unavailable to you. If you would want uh, it. There's also other things, of course, that malice and demonic energy can awaken inside of you. For hmm. example, surpassing your own human limits as far as life would be concerned might be something you might find interesting. Hmm. That is true. The question of my life expectancy was brought up on a couple of occasions. From what I understand, you should live a perfectly normal human life, if that is what you wish. Or you can, once you get yourself older and you decide that that isn't something for you, you can find a way to absorb malice in order to retain your youthful appearance, if you wish. Though that is something for a later you to figure out. A lot of beings think that <clears throat> a human life is enough. Hmm. Either way, you are connected to me. You are the only such demon anymore that is connected to me as intimately as you are. So if you ever have questions of that, you can always make your way to me. If you have any questions on how better to enhance your own demonic form or gain some sort of power from your heritage, you can also come to me. Hmm. It is interesting to me that hmm. you have kept your way around despite everything you had heard from your friends. Hmm. You are a kind one. Don't worry about me. I am soaked, but at the same time, I must offer some wins to my son over there, after all. Let him see me in I... some positions of falsehood or distress. Makes him happy. I see. Is... In terms of absorbing malice, in terms of uh, Marco's case, is he going to be alright? That depends. Currently, he is the one that is holding the Sword of Evil's Bane, and as well as the Sword of Evil's Bane, perhaps that would be enough to protect him. 
but malice and the gifts of the gods do not mix usually even if one that... were to completely renounce the gods as a Hylian, it would still cause them some forms of distress, as I'm sure you had seen when you had fought against that Slaverman before. <clears throat> and he wasn't even absorbing pure malice, he was using monster blood. Is... is no, no way I can absorb it from him, or some way to extract it from him? It is just malice, after all. I should should be able to exalt it, no matter where it comes from. At least, theoretically. He looks over to where Marco <coughs> is and looks to you. You could take him as a mate. No, 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 absolutely not! <laughs> <laughs> just, just, like, arms and, like, an X. No, no I, I don't think that would be acceptable. <laughs> Yes, I know. Just wanted to bring it up. In order to take the malice out of him, he needs to be purified. Either with some sort of blade, like the one that he carries with him. Or perhaps you can find some kind of a potion or some witch to do so. It is just malice, as you said. Currently, he doesn't look like he has many detrimental effects thanks to the swords he carries but he may feel them if he ever lets them go or maybe if he doesn't make a good uh, resilience check after sleeping or something that's a <laughs> risk i'm very wary of there it is unfortunately something he has to deal with it is not something mm. that you have much power over it is interesting that he even has it in him to begin with but from the bit of a time that he spoke with me before all of you left I can tell that he is one who does drastic things when provoked it is not unheard of for him to be in this situation Hmm. I'll think on it. If I can think of anything, I'll let you know. <clears throat> but I wouldn't worry Thank too you. much on it. If you were to come across any holy ingredients or anything of that nature, handing it off to a witch or some kind of a potion maker might be something you can do. Uh, what would a holy ingredient look like? Uh, purified water, um, depending on the god, any sort of bloom that they may like. Uh, if you would ask the goddess of the sands, some kind of a, uh, shard of a weapon that they enjoy may be, may suffice. Um. Mm. Uh, what a silent princess do? Silent princess, something of the mortal goddess. Hmm. If you were to find one, it may be useful. They are rather rare, from what I heard. Uh, that is true. I think we came across one a while ago, but I cannot recall if we had used it. Hmm. Well, if you find any more, perhaps it might be something. It could also be something to ask that one about. You see him bring his hand forward and touches you on the forehead. Huh? You have one inside of you, right? Uh, oh! Oh, yes, Master... Master Zolaire. Hmm. Maybe uh. something to speak with them about, if they have any... artifacts or any ingredients in particular that they like. Perhaps it'd be <clears throat> something they could feed into your uh, predicament. And again, if I were to make my ascension, perhaps at that point I could give you some kind of godly grace. Oh, <gasps> that would most likely piss off my son, though. He smiles. Oh, that would be so bad. <laughs> I will consider it. <laughs> I 
I had almost forgotten that. Hmm. My what ascension is Soler? still something I believe is necessary. Especially now after all of you have seen what you're dealing with. My tantrum is strong. Stronger than I. If it were not for that bird flying upon high, I most likely would have succumbed to it far before now. As soon as it is gone, we will have issue. But if it is not taken away soon, the Korok population will be completely gone. It is up to all of you what you believe is the best course of action. But I think that destroying that rock is the most important thing for you all to be doing. Whether it makes me vulnerable or not is a completely different story. If it does, you either need to kill me and somehow hope that I stay dead. Or you need to bring me to the sacred realm. Mm. Otherwise... My tantrum will become far too powerful to stop, even with two master swords. You'll figure I it see. out. I'm sure that mm. even if that were to happen and Hyrule goes to ruin, that you would be able to find a way out. If it happens that all of your friends end up perishing, which I do not want to happen. But if it does, and I am still alive, or I am still myself, come to me for protection. And we will find our way out of Hyrule as soon as we can. Uh, I will consider it. That is all I can ask of you. You will know where I am, as I will you. I will go and get a dry cloak. Thank you, again. I hope Mr. to Jumpe. hear... I hope to hear good news. We could all use it. Right, really, sir. He'll make his way back into his little club area. I don't know where am I going. <laughs> You're on the edge of the map. You have to be, you have to be closer. Uh, okay. You have to be closer zoomed in. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I don't know if I would make a good giant sheep. What if I was only a small? What if I only turned into a small sheep? A demonic form. I've what never even pondered such a possibility. What if you had like a? What if I had like a battleizer sheep form? <laughs> How would that even? I couldn't <laughs> use my bow if I was a sheep. <laughs> then it's just like magical girl don't, transformation. Don't, 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 don't worry about that. Don't you worry. <laughs> we will mount just... a fucking ballista on this sheep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then it's just like the thinking out loud after she processes that, and it's just like demonic form. What about? Huh? <clears throat> oh. Uh. So, I, I, I merely went to check on Mr. Don Pave, see if he was all right, and he had educated on a, me on a couple of possibilities I could be taking in the in the future, uh, as he had noticed that I had uh, taken up quite a bit of ballast into my body. Residual. Is everything uh, all right? What did he tell you? Did he promise you something? Don't believe it. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, um. If he promised you something, believe it sometimes. <laughs> because he has uh, changed. <laughs> he looks back over to Gorthos. I, he, he, he did inquire. He did, he did impose on me as a, not impose. As a, he, he did share with me, um, some, some knowledges, um. Uh, again, saying that uh, it would be really nice if he ascended sometime soon, so that he wouldn't worry about Ganon once we have disposed of the rock. Link walks over where to, uh, to where all the graves are and just spreads their arms, <laughs> just like this. <laughs> <laughs> just looking at Gorthos. <laughs> He, just a stubborn <laughs> he, he had 
he he had shared to me some of the differences between humans and Harleans, and that uh, despite in taking some malice into himself, Marco should be fine, but he should probably not stray too far from the Master Swords. But there is a way to purify him. Mm -hmm. Um, some more, um... Mate, 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 mate. Some more efficient <laughs> feathers. Um, some a little bit more difficult. Um, I just cannot seem to remember where the silent principle went. Oh, those weeds. We have plenty in the garden. Oh, yes! Yeah, the Master Sword area had so many of them, maybe. Um... Mate, mate, mate. <laughs> mate, 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 mate. Just gonna step on the piranha plant that keeps saying mate. <laughs> <laughs> the random little mate. piranha plant. You can um, kill me, but you can never silence me. <laughs> there, there, are, there are some things that I also wish to... I will not do. <laughs> but, um... Uh, as inefficient as my procuring of his malice would be, uh, I think uh, creating a potion with silent princesses would be a very good way uh, to purify Marco and anyone who might have been tainted with malice uh, before it potentially hinders him in some way, shape, or form. I'll be fine. We're making you a potion to purify yourself. Nah, we have more important things to be focusing our attention on gathering and making. We know plenty of very proficient potion makers who I don't think would have an issue to making doing yeah, this Marco. Yeah, need to be focused on making us healing and st stamina potions and all that. We I can do that. I can, make a, I can make us healing potions and, st and stamina potions and things. <laughs> yeah. we, we know more than one potion brewer, Marco. Yeah, I can, besides, I can brew us potions. I can do good. <laughs> <laughs> there's just no, there's just no, we can't have them do it, guys. <laughs> we will have them do it. <laughs> we... There could come a situation where you lose the Master Sword, or you're on your last legs, and the Malice will consume you. I'll be fine. Hosier puts <laughs> his hand in, um, in, uh, in front of Marco's mouth. He'll be le he'll oh. be happy to drink whatever you put in front of him. It's either that or you mate with a demon. Hmm? <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> 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 you just see from far off Gallum was like playing with Orion Looks back to you Looks at him <laughs> what? Just hot? Like, like, you cut off? He just starts laughing <laughs> Like pointing and laughing <laughs> Okay Jose, you don't happen to have some kind of ancestry we're not aware of. <laughs> it's not happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know those feels that Marco is out of luck there. We must have him drink a potion. There is a galleant <laughs> jump over friends and a scooping up of Apollo. Uh. My demon. <laughs> there isn't a growl. There isn't a growl from Orion, our demon. <laughs> uh, uh, another thing he had also uh, divulged to me was uh, the procuring of a demonic form similar to that of my family. Oh, like Vega's oh. giant goat, cute giant sheep. Sheep. I guess sheep. <laughs> His looked a little more like a goat, I Wait. think. Right. That's just because it was clogged. It does. Around. It did. It distinctly looks very goat like. It's like a but... ram, yeah. Yeah. It's, like a, it's a dire sheep. <laughs> it's a dire <laughs> sheep. There's, like, there's, no big, there's no big, intimidating looking sheep on Google. I write big sheep and I get sheep. You just get Wooloo and you just make it big. <laughs> it's just Gigantamax Wooloo. I'm actually literally looking up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just not quite sure how I would be able to use my bow or, or anything of that matter if I was in the form of a giant sheep. Oh, I've seen animals do some crazy things with weapons. You just see Marco's dad looking over at Phil. <laughs> Marco has also seen animals do crazy things with weapons. Looks at Phil. <laughs> we could probably like string it between the horns and I guess you have to use your mouth to or, get the arrows. Or... Well, you see Phil currently. You see Phil currently has like the the scythe spear 
that Marco's dad has, like, in his mouth. <laughs> he might be the How most the hell did you train a horse to do that? He's trained. Tra he's trained to fight. He's trained to fight as soon uh, as, as soon as this. Blah, blah. He's trained to fight to the death if his rider goes down. <laughs> that doesn't well, surprise me at all. Well, let's just assume wow. that was just how it was. Norm how he is just normally. You know, his training. <laughs> Shrugs. He doesn't know a lot about equestrianism. It's like Shrugs, I didn't do it. My dad did. <laughs> Mark was. Wait, is, is Phil? His horse? Oh yeah, Phil's old. Sword. Phil is the riding hero's horse. Mm -hmm. Originally, I mean. Yep. Mm -hmm. Impressive. Yes. Whenever we first made our way here, Phil wouldn't leave the grave of my father for anything. How did you? Hmm? How did you convince him to go? I didn't. Eventually, I would make my way into the forest, and I would do things uh, while I was there, and I would come back and see Phil. Eventually, I guess Phil just decided to leave. Phil had to mourn, mourn as well. <laughs> All things mourn. It's why it things they were, took they as long them. as they did for me, but definitely took longer for you. Looks to Marco. Mm-hmm. Uh -oh. Thanks to our magic, I'm marching you straight to Lon Lon so you can confront our, my no, sister. No, I should I should probably help all of you in the desert where you're going now. That's that should be what I do. Is what I a coincidence! Go... It's thanks to our magical house, we have a direct line home. Oh no, I sh I couldn't go home. I would I would never want to leave. <laughs> so I should go to the <laughs> desert. <laughs> this is non-negotiable. <laughs> You must face the consequences of parenthood. Hmm. It does not get easier. And just so you know, Mom never came back. We have no idea what happened with her. Oh. Well, that's easy. I'll tell you all later. But it's... That sounds extremely not our business. <laughs> She was wonderful. Well, she did make Marco and his sister, so obviously. In any case, it seems that it's time for us to potentially go and contemplate how a sheep is supposed to use a bow. That that there, there are other ways I can enhance my form without um Becoming a giant sheep? You could strap a rein to their jaw and then have the f have the ballista mounted upon their like upon weird their sheep. face. Yes, exactly. Yes. Face ballista. Mm. <laughs> We're gonna play. Does that mean that Ryan would have to carry around? <laughs> you, you play your song now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think it would be very efficient. If no, I was. No, hold on. <laughs> you guys. I, I would. That. <laughs> now she's like, I, I need to be transformed all the time. No, we just mounted to uh to to Orion <laughs> for him to carry. I don't think he would like that. And then the dog could wield it whenever you are not. Dog ballista. <laughs> anyway, it's so. <laughs> <method. laughs> uh, uh, what happened to surpassed Metal Gear? <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Bows and Ballista surpass our Metal Gear. You guys find yourselves as Ronan completes the song deep into Castletown, directly outside of the Temple of Time. With a dark nut in full dark nut armor. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> yeah. It's not the first time people have seen a dark nut walk around. Oh my god! No, I'm like, <laughs> he's off with the champions, so they know not to, to mess with him. Yeah, exactly. That, shirtless... that oh my god, what's for Gallon? Uh, that's one of that's one yeah. of the 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 knights are like, oh my god, it's Gallon! 
Anyway, uh, <laughs> just, 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 every time you get even remotely loud, you uh, dart you, into Cypher. You just said cut off. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Your, your mic it's really funny. I'm sorry. It's really funny. Oh, I'll just confuse it with this hero. <laughs> <laughs> they're very, they're very much smaller. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, as you guys make your way into um, uh, Castle Town, you are all uh, put yourselves directly outside of the Temple of Time. Upon doing so, you do find that there are some people about. But as I mentioned to you guys before, it is the, it was the setting sun whenever you guys had left earlier, so it is very late in the day, as you guys are here in Castle Town now. At this point, uh, you're decently sure that the uh, that the uh, drawbridge to the castle would be going up around uh, around now. However, uh, you're also decently sure that you guys can do whatever the hell you want. So <laughs> yeah, we we're we are prone to do that, and they just kind of let us. At this time, Matilda just sort of steps forward, looks over toward all of you, puts their hood up. So I'm going back to the house now. <laughs> That's right. Right. You're we'll not going. You <laughs> Al Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Please. If is, that else wants is that fine, Miss Polo? Uh, yes, of course, it's fine. Shall we, Princess? Mm, you're not Jason. <laughs> grumble, grumble. You're not Jason. Grumble, grumble. Uh, <laughs> oh, it finally occurs to me why they would ask. Huh? <laughs> and it's just like, oh yeah, I remember now. Why does there was just that little bit of like, wait, why are you asking me? Oh, now I remember. Yeah, Lin <laughs> uh, Linka, Linka uh, was told to take care of you. <laughs> yeah, so there's like, oh yeah, it's true. That's <laughs> correct. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, I will probably make my way back to the forest if that's all. Any if that's for any anyone here, you all have your house connected mm -hmm. to that, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, you follow right. those two and you'll get there. It probably would have mm -hmm. been a lot easier to do this than make my way through the forest regularly, especially with everything going on. Um, does it's it, much safer. Would I, should I take you there, Seer? Uh, um, do you guys need me at the, my, my, fa my fountain is probably <clears throat> still here. Uh, if you want me to look for anything, <clears throat> but. Hmm. Uh, perhaps, I don't think we have anything right now, do we? You take a rest. For now, rest. Yeah, you've been looking a lot today. Okay. As Argo goes to move with um, uh, with uh, Atalanta, you see the Dark Nut start walking after Argo. <laughs> Marco, oh. right. Argo right. looks back. Oh, we're, are you still gonna watch me? <laughs> I said that that's what I would do. <laughs> looks back around everybody. Unless there is a problem. No problem. Well, this Brother well, just nods at him knowingly. <laughs> Let me know if there is anything else I must do. However, looks down toward Atalanta. I would like to fight the one that has defeated a Lionel. Uh, sh sure. <laughs> <sighs> uh, if you. Uh, uh, this. Uh, mm. <laughs> Argo's like, oh, fuck. I don't want him to lose because if he does, then armor gone. But I also don't want to say no. We'll, we'll talk about it. We'll figure it out. Let's let's go back. <laughs> All she has to do is make it a draw. <laughs> that is most likely what Argo's going to be like. Please don't beat him. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Please, for fuck's sake. I don't want to even think about what he might do to uh, to lose to uh, if he lost to a Kokiri. <laughs> he I may mean, shed his there, skin with there. his armor. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how dark that's worth. He might cut off his own tail. Oh, <laughs> puppy. <laughs> They don't have tails, I thought. Some of us, it, it, like how, some uh, of the, us the, get rid of our tails for aesthetic reasons. That's why, that's the way we are bred. I find it to be monstrous. <laughs> it's like uh, how, uh, how just, samurai uh, have to cut their like top knot with whatever they <laughs> use their, their honor. But it's their tails. I, imagine, I just imagine he's just Except super flame yeah. yeah. Dark nuts, man. Like no, he's he's canonically in my head super fluffy under there, like a big puff ball. Since top. you guys are in town, I'm going to assume that Orion will poof. No one can see Ophi, so you're you're good unless you get Ophi out. 
just in your shadow, all three of them. Oh, five. Uh, well, perhaps I should follow them and wait for you all in your house. I don't Sounds believe that, me. uh, I don't believe that me or Phil would have any way or reason to make our way to the castle. That's fair enough. You are okay, despite what that demon had said before. You are good, as long as you're holding those. I'm terrific when I'm holding these. Okay. I'm fine, I'll be fine, Dad. I will wait for you before making my way anywhere. Okay. Also, let them know that there's a... That we have a chef that's a wolfos in our home. Not to kill him. He can huh? speak also. Oh, 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 His name okay. is Chefos. I'll let them know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Can you imagine Argo joking. going, Please don't fight him! <laughs> <laughs> He's such a good boy! <laughs> he makes such a good, good boy. boy! There can only be one good boy. You see Hosier watching as Link and Matilda go. He's like, The princess and my brother have gone, and I'm still here. <laughs> You were free to go with him if you wanted. No, you, uh, you all, I, we should talk to the king is what we should do. <laughs> That's Beach. what my duty is. And I will do you that. You want to hold a sword? <laughs> it might make you feel better. I will <laughs> try to hold one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would like to try one, please. <laughs> do you want to hand Hosier one of the maps and one of the swords of evil's bane? <laughs> he said it as a joke. <laughs> Also, I kind of need them in case the, the, the thing. I no, that's understandable, and I, f I think it's fine. <laughs> we should go before the gate goes up. <laughs> yes, we should. Okay. Oh, that's definitely happened already, but we can tell them to bring it down. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I have two Master Swords. They have to listen to us. Yes, <laughs> they have to listen to us, as is yes. how we should actually act in front of a king. <laughs> yes. He's glad you're finally catching on, Ozier. Let's go. Hey. He just tap. He just slaps. He just like pats him on the back. Gallon goes by him. It's like, hey, just remember, the last time we were both here together, I trapped you in a time bubble so you could serve us drinks inside of a date inside of a date city. He did. Bye. He did what? <laughs> Uh, it was a lovely night. We saw the Aurora Borealis. You can only see that from the north. It looked really nice from where I was. I do think it was nice. Yes. <laughs> uh, Let's go before uh, you blow a gasket. <laughs> Whatever that uh, is. I definitely see why every one of my peers loves Gowan. <laughs> <laughs> I think they just, they don't think they have a shot with him, you know? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Why it's would funny. they think that? It's funny that they. He's Gallon. <laughs> They've seen what he does, did with Roki. Because your <laughs> default state is, hey, what they, are you doing they tonight? They specifically didn't. That's a chica. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you guys would make your way through the city. You would get your your admirations that you would that you would have at any given time. Some of which would be like, oh, I thought I just saw you guys go by. And then you're like, oh, wait, no, that was the different because they were in the past. They wouldn't have made their way here yet. I'm just going to delete all of all of your your guys other other guys. They died to Ganon. <laughs> your guys, your guys, alternate time. You guys, your guys alternate time uh, past selves died to Ganon. It's, it's fine. Uh <laughs> They, they couldn't find the Master Sword, it was already gone. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's fine. It's just at the end of the campaign, we have to make sure to say, hey, we go back and put the Master Sword back in time. It's fine. <laughs> and then you just like jump in the bushes and watch as that entire dramatic scene from before happens again. Yep. <laughs> But we have to keep hiding because Ganon is still as there. The, as you guys get to the forest, it's just like, are we sure this is going to work? Ronan's like, let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway um, we have fun here we do you guys would make your way to the castle you would find that yes the uh the drawbridge would make its way up or already be up by the time you guys get there however uh you guys are the champions of hyrule i present two master swords <laughs> 
<laughs> they go, oh, the, fuck. In the most regal salute that I will ever see. They go, oh, fuck. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> but no, you guys are let in just as you would at any at any other at any other given time. Master sword, double master swords or no. You find as each of you step your way into the main area. In front of you, there are many guards. However, there is also several areas of which you would take note that there are more thrones seemingly in this in this room than what than what was here previous. You find <laughs> as you step in, not only find him, is there a throne for King Magnus? Hyrule. Where are you at? There you are. Magnus A, Magnus, and Hyrule. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. But you also see that beside the one that is usually meant for the princess, there is one to the right and one to the left. And you do find Another king has came here. As you both entered, it looked as if they were conversing, not sitting in their thrones or anything. However, by the time you guys had made your way here, they would have brought whatever conversation they had to here, since it would have took a little bit for the drawbridge to go down. As both kings look over to you, as you enter. Welcome, champions. It's good to see all of you. It's been hey a while. Have you uh, did whatever it is you wish to do back at uh, the mountain, at Spectacle Rock? I noticed that you are without a young king. <laughs> oh, she's just, she's just at the house. She's fine. Hmm. She's being watched over by Adam. There's been a few things, developments. We've done much and discovered many things, but... We had had word uh, from the settlements to the south that you have made your way down to, well, the army of Zora. Yeah, we did. And you all come here looking relatively unscathed. <laughs> Though the way that the trip would have been for you, I doubt that this is why some of you look as if you are roughed up. That would have been, what, a few days ago for you. Yeah, we, we got a lot of things done. Um, How could you tell? Was it the bags under Gorthos's eyes? It is a joke. He does not have this. I cannot see anything through all the bandages you keep in this form. <laughs> yes. It is a lot less cute than your smaller one. Have you <laughs> have you ever thought of getting yourself a Zora body? <laughs> he has considered it. There are benefits and downsides to any form he takes. Hmm. He makes the best of it, no matter which species it is. In any case, though, there are some things we wish to ask and report on all at the same time. Well, uh, we are expecting another ruler to make their way to us relatively soon. Most likely tomorrow, we will have an envoy from the uh, Gorons that have made their way down from the south. Goron. Hmm. I believe that their uh, acting king is going to be making their way here. Their acting chief is going to be making their way here. Oh, uh, Boulder. <laughs> Which would only leave uh, the River Zora Queen, if she would make her way here, uh, as well as the Gerudo Chieftain and the Rito Lord. I have heard from the Rito that the current lord is currently stationed 
above uh, the Lost Woods, as if they would like to raise an attack on something there. So I believe that, that he will most likely be with he them. He's the Lord. That's the Lord of the Rings. No, Lord, I thought he was just a commander. <laughs> They like to call oh, them. No. They like to keep themselves. Oh, what have you done? They like to keep themselves with military esque uh, names in the Rito um, in the Rito villages. Oh, I didn't... Gorthos didn't know he was supposed to be the Rito Lord. Yeah, you guys almost killed him. You <laughs> should just send hell lightning down upon him, man. Polo, what, were you, you saying, sure... Polo? He's no, no Mark. Because Marco was saying something. Oh. No, no, I'm saying it out of character. Uh. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Poor Sasuke. We, we can, <laughs> I we mean, from what you guys him. know, he was also the a, a descendant of a very important person in Reno society. Well, didn't think he was that important. <laughs> he's, was a, he's a descendant of a sage and a leader of their armies. Yeah, he is. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, he's quite incredible. <laughs> so, uh, glory for somehow for this. Uh, why is there a reason you're gathering all the uh, all the rulers? Well, we were thinking of making a final send of an envoy down toward the Zora King. Ah, uh, about that. <clears throat> that was right. until we learned that there was apparently all of you making your way down there at one point. So we assume you have uh, knowledge of that. Uh, well, yeah, um, he has agreed to stand down, um, and cease all aggressive action, um, on... I'm sure that there's more to it than that. One, yeah, yeah, you're right, on one condition, um, that, uh, when she is of age to rule, that Rudan, you know, is allowed to rule over the damn city. <laughs> Both of them have been like just sort of looking over at you, just like you know, like that. Both of their eyes go wide. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. what we said. That's what we said too. You hear yeah. off in the corner, there is just a dropped. Thing of like you just see like a dropped goblet uh full of like wine or something you see theodore <laughs> all right <laughs> he just objects. looks over like fucking what <laughs> uh theodore it's been some time uh did, hi yep. yeah <laughs> we have a lot to catch up on um don't worry that's not the craziest thing that's happened to us he says wielding two master swords we've been through a lot there's Theodore. <laughs> yeah. He just looks at the Master Swords like, yeah, we've been through a lot of things <sighs> in the little bit of time we've been gone. I assume that means that something has happened to Jason. Also, something has happened to an alternate Jason, and you have looted yes. both of them. <laughs> well, one, well, Jason gave me the sword because of a lot of uh, things happening, so I'm holding it for safekeeping. The other and I my, drew And myself. my daughter. But Matilda's fine. She's fine. She's yeah. The he, but the hero is no longer watching her. They are. She is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are being watched by the hero. It's just <laughs> with the master sword in the hands of Marco at the moment. No, no, Hello, they are with... being watched by the hero. All of this is true. <laughs> the, the master sword is temporarily on loan to Marco. The, okay. It, all right. Okay. Time time travel you find faraday like goes over and like puts a hand on his shoulder like calm down calm down right. <laughs> Listen, i feel like you should be used to these kinds of things by now in all honesty yeah. I... you please ass please assume with us that matilda is safe and the hero is doing what they need to do the worst At part about point. all of this is that he was shocked before but he the only time he ever hyperventilated was because of matilda potentially being in danger <laughs> yeah Yes. We're never telling you. He's a great we king. To get no. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're never a, saying nuts. shit about what happened to Matilda. That's a, that's a secret Gorthos carries with him for the rest of eternity. <laughs> <laughs> now, she's safe. Everything is in order for the moment. 
Um, yes, the damn sitting situation is something to consider. Rudan is but an infant, really, in the grand scheme of Zora lifetime. So there is a but, large Zora population in the damned city. I do agree, but uh, that is a major city that you want me to turn over to the Zora. Yes, we understand what we ask of this, or what the ki- the old kit. Gidon is asking <laughs> for is something sounding outlandish, yes? Whenever we were speaking with him, he seemed to take a well, stance that says that a bunch of land was taken from the Zora because of what expansion is... of the areas and farms in southern Hyrule. <laughs> and the only response he would have would be he wants the water from the damned city back. If that were to happen, however, the entirety of Southern Hyrule would be flooded. So he thought that this would be a better alternative than that. Than drowning half of Hyrule, yeah. (laughs) To be fair, he did this as us after talking him down (laughs) and engaging in combat. (laughs) He wanted to fight for it. Very oh. traditionalist, really. Well, all right. So it still doesn't make sense as to why he's turning it over to Radon. Well, he's no fool. One of those things he recognizes his own. Because she bested him in combat and proved Oberon's that she just was like puts worthy. her hands up. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't oh, know if we were too. dancing around that or not. <laughs> We're yeah, dancing around so many things. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a jig at this point. Listen, a lot of things about? happen half the time. I'm not trying to hide stuff. I just forget. Um, <laughs> you know how often Grothus got he, shot with hell lightning because he talked out of turn in a royal situation? He fought with my daughter. <laughs> oh. he, I mean, he <laughs> threw it. He, he kind of threw it, honestly. Don't um, tell Radon that, though. <laughs> don't tell Radon that. that he, would, also would, threw, he also yeah. actually threw Ronan. And me. He did uh, actually Omar, throw yeah. me, but I'm, I, you know, it was fine. I'm, I'm sure your daughter is is perfectly fine and a valiant. She looks over at him. I don't want to hear this from you. <laughs> she Stop. was not harmed. Uh, yes. At all. <laughs> not nary a scratch. She's deceptively dangerous with a sword. <laughs> Just like I'm sure your daughter was capable. And shut the fuck up. Shut <laughs> <laughs> the fuck up, Mr. All fucking rude kingly fucking pretense. Yeah. Like, shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Oh, with, what you, with what you what you were just like with your daughter? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well. <clears throat> Children are fine. Gidon lost to Rudon. There we go. Uh... Without going into everything about the damned city, which, to be fair, I believe that is the best compromise I can think of as long as looks over toward where Faraday is Gidon will be punished for what happened is that fine as well we will find a way to make sure he takes his punishment I will I will say before all of this before everything before even really meeting and being with Ronan, I was one who had followed after Gidon at one point. As things are said, a lot of Zora are like-minded with him about the loss of our water. If it were not for that fact, he would not have such an army behind him. If you wish to have the complete unification of the Zora... I believe this is something that you might have to at least address. There's a large Zora population already in the damn city, and 
just because it is under Zora control would not mean that it is not also under your control. You People. have always had our fealty, King, King Magnus. Every king and queen who sits upon the throne of Hyrule will always have the loyalty and the fealty of the Zora. We would just be governing it. Is that not fine for you? Is it much? For whatever it's worth, as long as Gorthos has been, been, this has never been untrue. The many tribes of our world, well, we all band together underneath the banner of Hyrule as a concept. There are people who disagree with Hylians, but that's neither here nor there. Everyone disagrees with everyone. There are very but... few laws that are different between the rule of Hyrule and the rule of the Zora. It would be just a different one sitting upon a seat of governor. Is that not fine? I will speak to the one currently in charge of the damn city, and... No, I believe that it would be fine. In honesty, the Zora who have made their way here, the ones who have performed in our streets, have said similar things as they have said that their loyalties lie with them, that they do not wish to be conscripted in any sort of fight against their home. And they considered this place their home. If the Zora were more united, then... I believe that it would be fine. If there's any problems down the line with the current ruler of the damn city, that's for... That's for Zeldarp 2 in 2026. <laughs> damn, that quick. <laughs> I don't fucking know. You overestimate <laughs> yourself. You really overestimate uh, the 25, 2025 campaign. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna die in that one. <laughs> you guys are gonna fucking die immediately yeah, in that one. that's the only fucking way it happened that fast. <laughs> you know, honestly, that'd be really funny if that happened. It could be January. It could be January fucking 1st, 2027. I don't know. I'd still consider that 2026. Anyway. It's fine. We'll, no. we'll, 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 we'll workshop. It's fine. Either way, that isn't the important thing. Does Gidon still hold the treasure? He doesn't. Good. We have assembled all three. Good. But. But. Orthos hmm? needs to know. Why do you want all three treasures so desperately? Why would the old king send Ronan with it? What are your plans? Gorthos. It feels that upon you saying that, you don't trust me. It's not that he does not trust you. He just knows what the treasures do. More like we want to know what the plan is. He looks over toward uh, where Faraday is. Faraday just sort of nods and motions toward everybody. You've told me. Might as well. First off, when it comes to the old king and the reason he would send it with you, Ronan, that has changed considerably. It was once supposed to be a gift for me. He had thought that with everything happening, the treasure should not stay with the Zora. And instead, it should be used for something he considered to be good. He had thought that I could end my curse of undeath by stepping into the sacred realm. Deep inside of the Temple of Time, there is a door, one that can only be opened with the three treasures. When the door is opened, you will be taken to a realm of gods. One that... Mm -hmm. Well... Should not, be should not be tread upon by men. Only in the most dire of consequences. Or circumstances. Whenever it is opened... 
one is able to commune with the gods, with their ancestors, with anyone, with anything. Some are able to gain immense power in doing so, and some are able to quell extreme worries. The old king, in his wisdom, thought that it might have been interesting for me to have it. It would allow for me to either choose to pass or not peacefully. But... At first, and again, this has also changed. Before I mention it, I want all of you to know this. I do not hold anything back from my friends. All right. At first, I had thought that I could speak with my wives. I had thought that seeking counsel with them or doing as much as I could could allow me to have any grievances I had be gone. The guilt inside of me at the time for surviving even cursed as I am when they did not was overwhelming. And knowing that the fact that everything that had gone down had gone down under my rule and not theirs was terrifying my only champion in my own grief I had sent the guard after because I had thought that without my daughter there would be no part of them left that was then this is now my thought now was to take things that we have found that have been extremely dangerous and seal them away where they can never be get used again. Like what? The treasures of immortality that we have retrieved from Slaverman. The ones that allowed him to be completely invulnerable to attack. Many of the different potions and different well, things that have been used by the Sheikah that we wanted to make sure did not get through, that we were given by the current chief that were secluded down in the Shadow Temple. A lot of different manuscripts we had had that depicted different lights for the demonic war, hopefully never to be taught again as they were not something we could simply just destroy. We wished for them to be gone. Not to mention, I was given something by your brother. Looks over toward Polo. Huh? It is apparently the last vestige of their mother. Some kind of oh. a shred of cloak or blood upon it. He did not tell me exactly what it was. He has yet to give it to me. But he wished upon hearing everything that had happened with his other brother, that it to be sent away. Something that he did not want to have anything to do with any longer. Mm. Those things as well as there was a part of me thinking that we should send what we could find, if not all, of the Triforce inside. <laughs> I would never be as... I would never be as... Well, arrogant as to want it destroyed. There have only been bad things happen with any of these things are destroyed, but... If I could send even one of the three away... It would mean that there would be things that wouldn't be able to use them like they have been used. There are many things I wish to get rid of. And if we do get rid of the last true vestiges of the golden power, perhaps 
we as a people of Hyrule can finally move past it. Not in the idea that we are ungrateful for the creator goddesses making our world, but fully embrace the new instead. That is what I had thought. Taking the sacred realm and using it as a surefire way to stop the evils from our world from rising again with these in particular items. I was even told, motions over toward um, uh, Faraday, that there are many items that the Zora have upon the mountains that they could get rid of as well. Some that are extremely powerful. We had once even thought of getting rid of the diamond spear, however, with it no longer being uh, used by the evil spirit, emotions toward where Galen is, then everything should be fine there. But there are many dangers that we'd like to make sure we can do something with. Do you think the gods would take kindly to these things being thrown into their realm? That is why I wish to contact them. That's why I wish to commune with them as much as I can. Plead with them. All right. That is why I wish to open the sacred realm. I would like to make sure that all of you, if you would, be around so that if anyone comes near, you would be able to stop them while I go in and commune. And if anything, if you can think of any other use of it, we can attempt to convey that as well. To step into the divine realm means you don't step back out. I am well aware of the risks. I have been one that has flirted with death many a time. It's not death. This is forever. Didn't someone come out once? Did we not hear that before? Zelda coming out was a fluke. I, I mean, believe, someone other than her. I believe that whenever one has made their way, most have attempted to stay. There are many ways that one can make their way to the sacred realm, but there is only one door, Gorthos. This door works as a door should, both ways. As long as the door does not close while I am inside, I should be all right. We can have some people on the outside to make sure that doesn't happen. That is why I'm uh, making sure you will all be available. He agrees that sealing the tri a piece of the Triforce away would be optimal. If it were up to me, it would be all three, but I know that you haven't obtained all the pieces of the Triforce of Courage, and currently the Triforce of Wisdom's residence is unknown it's potentially known we've yet to investigate but hmm. these other artifacts tomes from wars long past these things the sheikah hid are they incapable of being used for a greater good we have looked over the things that were brought to us from the Sheikah, and the new head of the Sheikah thinks that they cannot. They are tools of torture. They are tools of not only torture, but malicious torture. They are not tools you would use on someone in any good outcome. The Shadow Temple, what is deep within there, apparently, from what was shown to me, is very grim. Well, those wouldn't know. They would never let him into the village. He didn't know there was a Shadow Temple. I can see why. <laughs> he just kind of like <laughs> stares away, like, I can definitely see why. <laughs> why does everyone say that in response? <laughs> <laughs> 
I think the only good thing that would come from you going and seeing them is you wiping it out, Gorthos. I doubt they would have wanted that. Especially at the time. Upon seeing it, I think that probably would have been the best case scenario, to be honest. But I can see how they would think differently. Because it was the old guard and the old rulers that kept these things secret, and the first thing that the new elder has done was bring this to my attention, the Sheikah will not be reprimanded for having these things. But I also cannot think that my own, at least previous <laughs> kings and queens involvement as such, might have been brought with them. So it is my responsibility to get rid of them. If we do not do it this way, they will be melted down. They will be destroyed in other ways. But I believe, and from what he told me, things that have had those sort of implementation does not simply go away. Things leave a nasty mark on history. Which is why I would like to entrust them to the gods. If, if we were to seal these all away, how do you prevent the door from being reopened? I would do as my forefathers have done. I would set the three treasures away to each corner of Hyrule as far as I can. I have already asked one such person to take hold of one of them for me. He looks over toward Polo. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that one of these three should go to the north, outside of the range of Hyrule. It would uh -huh. also be a great way to keep ourselves in touch. Make sure that we both understand how important you people to the north are to us and our growing support of each other. I would like to give one of them to you. I would like to return one of them to the Zora. They have had plenty of ways of keeping things settled with them. They have many different ways of sealing away artifacts and also after everything that happened here with the war that has been brought up I would also like to make sure that the Zora people know that I do not blame anyone of any such things and that we are as strongly connected as we ever as we ever have been with the third I would like to give it would have liked to have given it to the Sheikah before all of this but at the time, Dude, fucked it up. <laughs> at, the fa at the time, I do believe that even their shadow temple is not going to be safe or anything. After this, I'm sure that you, Gorthos, as well as potentially other people, would love to have delved below it to figure out anything of it. So I was thinking of sending it to our next strongest warriors, the women of the Gerudo. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Theoretically, <laughs> yes, that seems sound. But everybody, you have has, any other everybody had like a massive intake. They're like, mm. however, the what's up, man? Throughout all the conversations before this was brought up, could I potentially roll some kind of uh, insider instinct on how truthful the king is being to us? Yeah, you can. Uh, go ahead and give me a um, uh, give me an instinct check. Pog. Andy Wade. Bam. And then just this I have a, have a decent chance of having a double. But bam. Ooh. Uh, thank God I had brought over one of those, so I don't have a two with double my instinct. Oh. That's exactly funny. <laughs> Hell yeah! Uh, go Natural, ahead and keep. Uh, go ahead 31. and keep. Uh, go ahead and keep one of these heroisms because you just got a fleeting. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. No problem. Uh, uh, natural thirty-one. Natural thirty-one. 
you feel wow. that he hasn't held anything back so far. Again, he started off the conversation telling you guys exactly what he was going to do with it and how ter and how basically short-sighted and terrible that was. Um, yeah. He started out basically being like, cards on the table, this is what I was going to do. Uh, he seems basically like he is being as sincere as you ever feel him being. Okie dokie. Oh. I'm satisfied with this. Now go ahead, Anthony. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. If we How, were to make them take the deep within their temple, they have the strongest warriors in the entirety of Hyrule at their disposal. I've heard that a single iron. iron knuckle would be able to protect it greater than any of my forces that I could muster. They are famous for a reason. History. Gorthos, however, posits that these sacred treasures have been stolen before and used in malign ways. We all also, know that the Gerudo have had instances where they were called bandits, where they were that, called conquerors, but Galen, as well as Koro, have both shown me, as well as all of the Gerudo I've ever had in my employ, that they can be extremely loyal, and they will is, do everything in their power to do what is right. Yes, that Ooh, is not us. why he is... Gallon's just like, woo, go us! <laughs> indeed. God damn it, Gallon. Uh, indeed. But that is not what Gorthos is talking about. That's just a slight little, like, just slight elbow, like, no, not the time. <laughs> just a slight elbow, I'm just like, he's trying to break it to him. <laughs> Gorthos would, would give alternatives to spreading the treasures. More assured methods of int of making sure the divine realm is never encroached upon. And what would those be, Gorthos? Galen steps up from behind. He has two working theories at the moment. One is to attempt to seal one of the treasures within the divine realm itself. We've thought of that. Unfortunately, you would need the three treasures to stay within the door for the door to work. Mm. If theoretically, yes. The other option, he's yet to find a surefire method, but the other option would be to discover a way to simply destroy them. These are yes. treasures that have been crafted, or at least been in Hyrule since the beginning of creation. The things that have been has. things that have been <clears throat> added to, yes, but we have never seen them even have a single showing of dimming or dwindling in any way. People believed before the Triforce indestructible, and yet. The Here Triforce as a whole is indestructible. Mm. From what we understand, any time the Triforce has ever brought itself together, it has done exactly what the legends have always said. The Triforce has given everything to the one that has brought it together. That is the point. But shattering, this is something that has happened recently, yes, but at least in my memory, I cannot think of too many times that the full Triforce has ever been destroyed. True. It seemed impossible. But with this current revelation, we've all been witnessing the effects of the impossible. There is truly no such thing as impossible in our world. I also Maybe find it. I also find it hard to want to do it, to be honest with you. Him. The doorway to the sacred realm ties back to the beginning of Hyrule. That is how that is how the mortal goddess ascended. Yes, he knows. He was there when it happened. Believe him, it is 
difficult, but you have not seen what we have seen. Our enemy we face is something beyond anything. Only the true assurance that they don't have a chance to step into the realm of the divine will give Gorthos peace. Imagine that horrible, calamitous creature to be anywhere near the door. Are you not? Gorthos are you not set to difficult. stop it? I don't yes. know what has happened Oops. to all of you in the past few days, but I need to think of the future as well. If we have need of this to get rid of these artifacts, if we have need of a way to commune with the goddesses without those who are completely connected to them as all of you are, the only way for my people to do that is with these treasures. I cannot just throw that away. These are more sacred to us than the Triforce, in my opinion. The Triforce is for those who are strong enough to go and collect, those who are willing to put their lives on the line to go and find some way of completing a legend, or even given to those worthy enough at birth. But these treasures, they are the only way for someone such as myself or someone who hasn't been chosen by gods to communicate with them. I find it hard to keep that away from the future generations. Eventually I listen to your counsel. Pop up. I listen to your counsel. I, I do. But I've also seen all of you do fantastic things. Grand things. Beyond anything that I ever thought possible. You cured me of my malady. You brought both the hero and my daughter here. You have apparently solved a war that was set to escalate and destroy all of Southern Hyrule. You brought the two Zora races together. You've solved so many issues in Hyrule since the small amount of time you've been here. Mere months you've all been here. I do not think a single doubt there is something you can do about this creature and if you cannot these gems will be far away from this place and if we are in a position where this place falls and the outside world does as well it doesn't matter that these gems are here does it for everything is already lost Is that not true, Gorthos? He merely also worried of the future, but... He seemed only worried whenever he brought up giving him over to the Gerudo. <sighs> Galen <sighs> steps forward, as he does. King Magnus! We do have news from the desert. There is something happening there that we, as you just said, will take care of. Something <clears throat> that has obviously led to a change in my people and how they act, but I believe it is without their control. Everything happened after I left. And I will return it back to the way it was. Me and my brother, as well as everyone here. So, maybe hold on to the treasure and give us the red one. That one's been really fun. <laughs> we, we already got him. We already I don't know. I, I think that wasn't the idea to, that, that we, maybe we shouldn't give him any right now. Well, not right now. That's what I'm saying. Give us the red one when he does. Oh, okay. Gotcha. You guys don't need the red one back. We saw what happened with the red one with you. You had the blue one. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> you, you okay with the green know. one? Uh. Did you not be asking the boulder and Domi for these questions? These were their treasures. 
We have already been thinking about all of this together. Mm. As for the Kokiri, we have not asked them. However, the Lost Woods has seen many problems in the past hun several hundred years. We believe it probably best to move one of them away from it. Well, it's very focal. We perhaps understand that, but seeing as how their emerald eye is not really an issue anymore, no, is he? If they have a problem with it, we will talk to them. But we have not ever had much in talking with them before. From what I've oh. spoken to with... I almost said young Domi. He's probably older than me. From what we have spoken to him about so far, he seems perfectly fine with just joining my court every now and then. Yes. The, now that they've <laughs> learned that walking outside the woods does not, in fact, end their life immediately, they're more keen to see the world. Which one? Hmm? Don't start that, please. <laughs> <laughs> Galen will look words. to you, Gorthos, give you a smile, and then walk back over to Polo. Faraday and Galen are correct. There's some, there was worry in giving them treasures at the moment, but we'll handle it. <laughs> Forgive him. He may be... Becoming senile. He seems to be forgetting who he is. <laughs> well, it's good that you don't forget, Gorthos. Hero of heroes. Oh, uh, that does bring up one final thing. If you are <clears throat> planning on making your way to the desert soon, I was contacted by them at one point. He starts, like, moving his hand to his cloak, but then you see Theodore walk up and just hand a, uh, hand a small thing of parchment to him oh thank you i know you right uh, yeah i work here <laughs> <laughs> right that's uh, me though <laughs> yes i totally work here Anywhere. yeah it's fine <laughs> he takes the uh the small thing of uh of uh parchment and he looks it over before turning back to all of you yes this is it uh we have been asked to take in some of the scripture and some of the writings of the Gerudo people. Real. They said they will be sending an envoy to us uh, within the month. I... It looks to be here that they mentioned that there will be uh, a guard of Iron Knuckles with them, that we should not worry uh, that they are mostly there for defending uh, throughout the times. I believe they must have heard of the armies gathering in the south. That probably makes sense. Uh, it's a rather large amount of people coming, though. Uh, what do you uh, mean? They said that we should be expecting uh, no less than a thousand people. A thousand? Huh? So, I believe they say that strange. they also wish... They see. It seems they also seem to think that uh, they wish to put a bazaar. Yes, that seems right. Um, I want all of you to roll me for your instinct very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, I would buddy. love to. Uh, let me just grab this. Yeah, same here. Marco, grab you it. have advantage. <laughs> Thank you for because my of your advantage. role earlier. <laughs> Thank you. I'm putting in even more into this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well, I'll do okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and re-roll that. <laughs> that is a 17 hey. with an instinct of right. <laughs> two, so that's a 19. <laughs> I got a number that's way lower than that and should probably so not see. even matter. Uh, what is the number? I'm adding it all together. 12. Okay. I have rolled a total of 19. Okay. Gorthos? That's I rolled an eight and then I re-rolled and got a two plus my plus one. So that's three plus instinct, was it? Wait, yep. it's 19. It's instinct. <clears throat> fucking five. And there's 20, my bad. I was one off. Okay. And roll me for Gallon. Somebody. Does Gallon, does Gallon get advantage? Oh, wait, no, I had advantage. That's right. Gallon has a oh, zero. Yeah. <laughs> Gallon has a zero I'll for roll. instinct. Oh, does, does Obra roll as well or no? Yeah, give me over. Apologies. 25. I had had okay. advantage. Okay. Oh, Obra's, Obra's thinking <laughs> about other shit. <laughs> what, Obra again? She got, Obra got a net one. <laughs> <laughs> 
10. What'd you say? What'd you, what, did, what did you say, Marco? You changed doors. What'd you say? Yeah, I, I did not roll it three times. I pulled a thing. I got a total of 25. 25. Okay. And the only nat was the one nat one? Yeah. Okay. All right. It's funny. If I hadn't added any goddess points or rerolls, I would have also gotten a nat one. You guys see, as he goes to turn the page towards you, there is a almost sense of wonder coming from the eyes of both Faraday and Lord Magnus. As it turns towards you, you all uh, see for a brief moment a picture of the queen of the of the queen of the Grudo. Mother in Fuck, Ronan's gonna walk that, right up to the king. Uh, hold on. Wait, okay. Run. Because you guys know that their visage bewitches. Mother and Do you guys want witch. to do anything to stop yourselves from getting bewitched? Uh, <laughs> King Orthos. Uh, I have like I'm lightning man. Can I fucking set the paper on fire? I just spark you can it. Try. I will hmm. I had a similar idea, honestly. Oh, great. Master, double master swords. <laughs> Protect us from this witch's evil visit. I cover both of my eyes with one master sword. <laughs> All right, this will be a magic attack, right? Sure. Where's the... Wait, where's, where's the Majin mask? Where'd he go? I guess Marco pulls his hat down over his face so he can't see it. <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm actually missing Majin's... How many? Oh, there it is. My away. Yeah, that's okay. So that's a four. I'm rolling that. I'm taking my last hero die with it because uh, fuck you. Where's my sheet? Rip. Okay, so that's that's 18. One Eight's more. Near. 18's the highest. Uh, roll your inspiration 18. one. What? Oh. Leading one? Yeah, I saw you had two goddess tokens here, so you already okay. rolled that. Oh, okay. Rip. 18. So 18 was the highest to, to attack a piece of paper. It's... It was less attacking a piece of paper and attacking it quickly. Hmm. I'm going to roll okay. a dice. And I will determine if that made it or not. Okay. Uh, I imagine I probably wouldn't have enough time to whip out my fucking violin for this. This is a split second. Split, yeah, so. Really the only other enough. people that have a chance of doing anything are Gallon and Obera. Not even Marco with this dungeon action? Okay. Um, nope, this is not an in combat thing. You pulled your nope. hat un over your eyes, is what you just said. Obera would like to do something, actually. What are you going to try I to think, have Obera do? Uh, I can't teleport far enough to get behind him but she could uh because she can if she just teleports herself then she can do that uh and i wanted to have her do that and then try to burn the paper out of his hand just like she can attempt fire. to burn the paper out of his hand here where she's at oh that's, oh, okay. yeah if you want to do it that way because getting behind sure, him I mean, might in that, have in that her... case both Ronan and Obera would try I suppose yeah because getting behind getting behind him would mean that she might even see the picture oh I thought he was holding it out to us he's okay. turning it as turning we it. speak got <laughs> it okay he is thank you <laughs> the other one. Roll, roll me for roll enjoy. me for your magic Roman Roman <laughs> I almost said Roman. Roland, so uh, I tried to stop it's, myself. It's Roland. That's <laughs> uh, what I almost said, and I stopped myself. <laughs> Nico, it's your cousin. <laughs> Why don't you take me bowling? Roll me magic. <laughs> Shut up. And then roll me over his magic. Uh, would throw would hurling fireballs uh, towards a king be that would be very a bad, stupid yeah. and dangerous thing? <laughs> Sure, I yeah. Yeah, it. sure, yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> Why have you done stuff? this to yourself? <laughs> Not hitting the king, just throwing a thing in his direction <laughs> seems like a terrible all of, idea. All of the knights are like, wait a minute! No. <laughs> what fucking Gallon's knights? Gonna have to work over time to the ones that are in Everbergallon. <laughs> hmm? 
I think the first roll was what, a nine? It was a nine. Plus your ten, that's a nineteen. Would you like to roll okay. for Obera? Now, Obera. You're just gonna get a straight one. That's, awesome. pretty, that's pretty good. You got better than me. Holy shit, that's really good. Do, 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 do. That is six plus seven, is plus seven as a twenty-four. Uh, Gallon, roll me for roll me for your magic as well. Go, Gallon, go, go, Gallon, go, go, Gallon, go. Eight. As an eight, Gallon was too uh, busy being sassy, is what Gallon was. Gallon got Gallon got back to the back and then turned around just in time to see that, and he's like, "Oh fuck!" He just shaved too much, and now he's been slow. As this happens, Gorthos, Gallon, mm -hmm. Ronan, the three of you send jets of flame and lightning over toward where the thing is. However, Obra having flame be a part of themselves since they were young or is much faster at it than you as obra turns instead of using any kind of spell they have or anything they rely purely on their instinct as a river zora and literally spit out a fireball at him <laughs> oh fuck it is like this is one of the first times she's done it this way she's like ah fuck oh. that. <laughs> goes right uh, over goes right over marco's head <laughs> Ah, bear my tongue. Why oh, is it hot? <laughs> As it happens, King Magnus stumbles back upon having the fireball and other things strike past him, uh, striking the striking the uh, the um, uh, um, uh, message in his hand. <laughs> uh, what? What? What is this? What is wrong? You've been bewitched, Ronan. Now that the paper has burned, takes out his violin. <laughs> As, As you take explained. out your violin, Ronan, <laughs> yeah. you find that several knights start to make their way towards your guys' positions. The chieftain of the Grito cannot be trusted at the moment. Her visage, her visage bewitches us. That scroll had her image on it. No, we're not here to fight. We're here to help. <laughs> oh, poor Blaze. He's doing it too. <laughs> where's the other one? Where's the, where's 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 non Blaze? What happened to you? Where'd you go? You find that as this happens, the look on the king, as well as the other king's faces, are that of pure horror. As they were almost struck down by their most trusted champions. As the knights and guard captains around turn, you guys attempt to call them to reason, saying that you are trying to stop them from being bewitched. King Magnus stands forward. This was a peaceful letter, not one of bewitching. They're just asking to make put a bazaar outside of the outside of the castle. There's no reason beyond this. She you have true reason. Then I believe you will tell us in the dungeons. What guards? You find that outside of the windows in this place, you see several Zora coming up from the waters as well. Uh, guys, I don't think, I don't think talking's gonna work. I can't fight against my king. Ronan. Do we... How fast can you play that? Z, help me out. 
Uh, yeah. You note that they will go to attack you immediately. I want to ask you guys. The bridge so far is down. Do you want to try to fight against the uh, people here inside the castle? Or do you want to try to leave? Because currently, Jordan, yeah. even if you fight them, you could injure them. Uh, Ronan does not want to leave. Okay. I don't know what y'all want to do, but he won't be leaving. <laughs> Uh, I'm just looking at what Orion can do really quick. Um, I wish I, this is one of those moments where I wish I had an enhancement to freaking do this with Orion. Um... How loud is Orion's howl decently loud? Something is it enough to be like, force. ah, fuck, that's loud, ah, disorienting. Depending on the situation, <sighs> or maybe. Or, or am I? Or can I channel extra hearts? I want to remind some, or, before that because mm -hmm. right now it looks like some of you, girl, some of you are wanting to do something different. Mm -hmm. Ronan, mm -hmm. it happened months and months ago, potentially even a year ago. Yeah. So I will forgive you if you've forgotten. Mm -hmm. But you know that the bewitchment that the Gerudo Queen uses usually comes right back. That's why you it weren't able to get it. with Marco and Argo? They weren't bewitched. They had the, the trap happen with them. And again, when Margo, when Argo, not, not Argo, <laughs> whenever uh, Marco just tried to get back into it, he had to make the roll again anyway. I just want to remind you that if it's up to you whether or not you want to go at it, you could get them out of it temporarily, but you also know that it would most likely come right back. Shouldn't Z's new thing help us more here? Because we've seen I mean, it he, do. Yeah, he did. Do he, definitely, yeah. he definitely has done that before. It's just if you guys think that that is something that is guaranteed to happen or not. Would Z be doing that as part of this song that he's doing or would he Z be would like... either have to do the song or do the thing he's doing. Okay. Z, I'm going to I'm going to have I'm going to ask him to do that. Okay. Um and I'm With also that gonna... being said, yeah. Ronan is 100% going to start going to stay in this room. Yes. <coughs> going back to Polo. Does that change what you uh, want to do with Orion? Uh, just because I can't remember what Z exactly does, does it involve sound and with disorienting Z can, everybody? Uh, Z can fly up to things <laughs> and go to touch them to attempt to remove uh, any kind of influence from them. That's what he was doing to the Kokiri inside, mm -hmm. of, the, inside of Kokiri Town. Uh, I guess in that thing is just the worry of if Z just flies up to him that they're just gonna like swat at him and he can get hurt. Will, but, but you know, he's he's a but fairy. But if they're disoriented fine. and like <laughs> holding their head and being like ah, ah, then that might give Z a chance to just like tap, tap, yeah, definitely, tap, and definitely. like yeah. So it's it, it's it's essentially trying to disarm I'm, them. I am with, more with trying stuff. to find out if you guys are going to stay in fight or run because we're uh, not going to get into the fight today. <laughs> No, this is this is she's not leaving. Okay. She's trying to see how she can use what her her companions you guys to see this yeah. happening around you. You guys think for a moment upon hearing the um, uh the um, uh Zora coming up from the waters that you may or may not have a chance to run or to stay. You guys decide to stay. Anybody who doesn't, you see Josier sort of turn to go but then he sees the rescue staying is like Rah! Because <laughs> he doesn't want to fight against his people, but he's he's down Jose to stay where you go. guys are. You uh, don't have the stomach leave. You guys cannot be saying these things. You guys are being attacked yeah. as this is happening. <laughs> like there is there is a spear going at you in this exact moment. Um, as you guys are gonna stay and fight, we are gonna get to this next week. 
You we'll bitch. see what comes of the battle inside of Castle Hyrule. As the king and the other king are commanding their soldiers to attack you. For wanting to mess with the Gerudo, the Gerudo uh, chieftain's party they're wanting to throw. <laughs> It's not, called, it's not called a party, it's called a fucking invasion. Yeah, it's a bizarre. It's not a party, it's a bizarre. Man. It, they just, what, need, to send like, they just need to send like left. a thousand people over here to make sure it's ready. Imagine we lead with the fact that she's rescinding her uh, <laughs> joining of the guru of Hyrule. Man, she sure did that on purpose, huh? <laughs> she sure realized her game was up. We will get to the battle next time. Whether or not the things work here or not, we will find out. You currently have two very successful ways of getting rid of brainwashing, or at least influence that you know. We will see if they can aid in this and how well they're effective they are. Your turn. Sorry that you guys have to have another fight in Castletown. I know you hate Castletown. Oh. <laughs> At least you're not in the town this time. You're just in Castle. <laughs> I can't he believe should be he, he should be apologizing for making us wait a fucking week for this. It is ten, it is twelve o'clock at night. I ain't going any further. This is gonna be a this is probably gonna be a big fight. <laughs> because we also have to you know not die. And not hurt them. I don't know. You got you, I, you guys can them. you guys can probably just don't kill, kill them. them. Like like look look, it's just Hector and uh and Kimbo and Commander Harold and Holly and old man Jenkins. Hoover <laughs> Quick Man, not Harvey, you uh Hoover Quake Hoover Quake Man, Stu uh, Harry, uh, Harry Quake Man, Hoover Quake Man's friend or something, Hera, Blaze, there's another one here, there's another, there's another one, there's a Blaze Etch, there's another person here, I can't remember his name, but he's also here, Thunder, I think, I don't know, he's here too, he should be over here, I'll find him, oh, I didn't find him before, oh, oh whoa. at least Captain Harry is not here, oh whoa, Oh, I'll Interesting. Find, I'm oh, just I'll, looking at I'll my find shape. Captain Harriet. I'll, I'll fucking find him. You don't think I won't? Where's the other fucking donor? I don't know. I'll find him later. Probably the same place that the that the Gerudo Queen is. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> they were secretly lovers, you see. I wonder why you shit. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Does the seems... Nocturne of Shadow work the way I was thinking the other thing worked? <laughs> The Nocturne of Shadow is pretty, pretty heckin', pretty heckin' sweet. Pretty heckin it good. specifically says taking or removing a hold of another over them. Mm hmm. Nocturne of Shadow is, is decently good at that. Okay. Maybe that's. Uh, the biggest thing knows? that you have to always take into mind, though, is the attempt. Well, yeah. Yeah. Because there's always, there's always the thought of. You don't do it for some of them, or or potentially all of them, <laughs> and then bad things happen. We literally, we literally just got back from Nightmare World. No, this. I'm gonna, this. I'm, I'm gonna punt that fucking chief into the goddamn sun. I'm really sorry, God. I'm going to have to kill your sister. Damn. damn. Oh no. <laughs> it's like damn. What? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. I was... It's the meme. Yeah. It's like, we're trying not to kill that guy, Gallon. Damn. <laughs> Gallon, use your charms. They all love you. Guys, guys, don't fight over me. <laughs> I don't understand. We love Gallon, but we have to kill him. <laughs> you don't. The, the, the Gallon shot at Gallon shot at the king. They've gone mad. No, you don't understand. He was trying to get. To, he was trying to improve the lighting for his flare. <laughs> for his for his pictograph shoot. He was trying to help with the lighting. We don't see a pictograph in your hands. 
Not pulls yet. Out pictograph. One, two, pulls three, out four, pictograph. Five. Oh, never mind. Then everybody stops. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. We I were believe. just firing the oven to cook him a wonderful meal, right, Ophie? Is that a fucking giant demon shot? <laughs> <laughs> Would Polo be a normal or shiny Wulu? <laughs> I don't know. The shiny Wulus, are, I think, are black. One, yeah. two, three, four, uh, five. We are going to end the recording here. I hope everybody is hyped <clears throat> for you guys to fight against uh, against your friends, against all of these friends you've met since the very beginning of the game, like Blaze. You, it's Blaze. He's here. He's, he's right there. Faraday is gonna fuck you guys up, maybe. <laughs> Hold on, I. King okay, Magnus Hyrule I... about to about to duel. He pulls out a duel disc. <laughs> <laughs> pulls out a duel disc and play and plays Archfiend Skull Dragon. <laughs> Where's Clarity when you need her? <laughs> Clarity, we need you. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna take all of Orion's heart for and for every heart I take. Take from Orion, I summon an Ophi. <laughs> <laughs> and just have them bombard everyone. <laughs> just fucking spaghetti monster. <laughs> Vor their armies. <laughs> Vor them. Just then they'll never just fight. Actual, just actually summon the shadow demon. It just somehow <laughs> schloops from, it just, from You nowhere. just summon a fucking version of the of the deadhead amalgam. <laughs> but it's Ophi's. Don't ask me how I did that. I didn't. <laughs> don't, ask, don't ask me how I did that. She falls over. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we're going to end the recording right here. I hope you guys had a fun time. We'll be back next week with the Battle of Hyrule Castle. Until next time, guys. Like always, later days. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Remember the crying hole. Perhaps it will help you in your journey. <laughs> It's a secret from everyone. <laughs>